Yo, yo, yo. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. Welcome back for part three. Hey, Jack, Anonymous, Yasmin, Queen. I'm excited to play this on Monday. They go with two Beastern characters for Arisen and Pawn or mix it up. Honestly, I don't really know what the in-game differences are between the two races. The Beastern size default might be a little bit bigger, meaning they probably have a higher carrying capacity if I had to guess but also less potential to have quicker stamina recovery. That would just be my initial guess, but I don't know if there's any like in-game role-playing according to the race that you choose. What's up, Easy, Shane, Toby, Sam, Henny, hello. All right, the screen will go fo full screen here in a moment. See if it fixes. There we go. There isn't any difference, says Wade. More hairballs. <laughs> I always knew you were a furry, Rick. All right, so to start off the stream, I wanna let you guys know that I did just do a little bit of button mapping. I'm gonna try something out. So I might look like uh, a day one noob right now for a little bit as I try to reacclimate myself to these new controls. And I'll show you guys what I did on controller. So what I did was I switched my weapon skill to right bumper as opposed to left bumper. And on the left bumper, I now have my vocation action. So if I'm playing as a fighter, for example, block will now be left button. It won't be the right button, but this is also going to affect all of my weapon skills. So now I have to hold down the right bumper while pressing skills. Should have done this day one, um, but I didn't really think of it. So we're gonna give that a try for a little bit. And also I turned on, I don't know why my graphical settings were so weird. I don't know why they were changed, but I'm now running um, DLS Super Resolution uh, Quality. And for some reason, last session I had on Fidelity FX Super Resolution. I'm not sure why, but it is what it is. So, welcome back. Emma Fume, hello. Odessa, hello. Let's continue. So, last session, I became a warrior. And. Up first today is to try to learn how this warrior actually works. Was once a kingdom of beastrons. Fascinating. Indeed, though it is not widely known among the common folk. You know what? I'm going to turn down the. It, it is so frustrating to me when this is a streamer problem, not anybody else's problem. When I'm trying to talk and the pawns start having these conversations, it literally drives my brain insane. I'm going to turn the pawn voices down one more. It totally just ruins my train of thought. All right, so here's the vocation guild, and I did find the warrior great sword from that Trevo mine. And let's see what we got here. I haven't bought any skills yet. I would like to, you know what? Let's buy some skills right now. Oh shit! Wrong button. That's gonna take a little bit to get used to. Oh my god! I'm gonna end up killing somebody. Where's the vocation master? I think he ran when I pulled out my sword. Hello, sir. Knock, knock, knock. Dude, nobody wants kids these days. They just don't want to work. You know what I'm saying? Where the hell did this jabroni go? Is that him right here? I'm a tad preoccupied just now. If you he must be out of his office. You know what? He's probably on lunch break, so that's fine. All right, let's um, let's go to the front gate real fast. So I can do some weapon swings and just get a sense of how the warrior is feeling. Whoa, what's up with the rendering right now? Hey, fate. 50 FPS in the city, yes. I have a 4080 GPU and a Ryzen 9 5900X. Usually goes up in the open world. See, now we're up to 75. All right, so here we go. So pull weapon out. How do I pull my weapon out? Shit, did I screw? Th okay, that's the same. And now to use weapon skills, we have X for mighty sweep. Harvest what I can, should it please you. Okay. Then we have stone splitter. None of these attacks use stamina. And I should be able to do both of these as a jumping attack also. 
Damn, the warrior is slow. Okay, and then we have Barge. Oh, that's so cool. Did I try it on this guy? Oh my god. <laughs> they mean to draw blood. It was just supposed to be a little shove. And then for weapon skills, I have Skyward Sunder. Oh my god. Can I do that quickly? Yes, okay, so it charges up. Damn, that's gonna take out some herpes, that's for sure. This is it. I've been the same. And you know what I'm also just learning right now is that you can charge up your some of your core weapon skills. Like my mighty sweep right here, which is my light attack. You can charge that shit up. Holy hell. Okay, awesome. All right, back to the city. How you doing, Mr. Ox? Careful, Wolfhart's in the area. He'll end up shooting your ox in the face. You guys remember the first ox cart that I came across? Wolfhart just shot like seven arrows into his face and almost killed him. Hey, Trevor, what's up? Jackie, hello. Shy Violets. Little Vixie. Thanks for joining the Discord server, Little Vixie. I just saw your name the other day. Okay, first up on the plate. I'm thinking about doing this before I start the stream, but not, not happening today. Let's check my encumbrance levels. Actually, not looking too bad, but we can probably sell... You know what? Let's store... Let's store my daggers. One of my daggers. And I have to get myself some warrior armor, perhaps. But I could also run with thief armor and just be a super agile warrior. But I don't think that's going to work because I'm going to be taking a ton of damage as I charge up my attacks. So I think at the very least, I got to have some pretty heavy medium armor as this class. So let's go quickly to the market district. While we're here, shall we take care of that other task we were entrusted with as well? This is the guy that I want to go to. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price... Any of you guys watch Vikings? Ragnar's son, Bjorn. Bjorn Ragnarsson. All right, let's go ahead and sell... I wonder if I should just save, like, all of my ranger's gear. Or my thief gear, you know what I mean? So when I go back to it... The thing is, as you progress in this game, you come across better armor smiths. Or armorers. And if I don't play Thief again for like another 20 hours in game, my armor is probably not going to be good. You know what? Let's just sell it. Screw it. We're going to get butt naked right now. Save the Ranger's tights. We're going to sell that. You know, I do want to use these spells. I was watching Slandered Gaming play a sorcerer last night. Freaking badass, man. The magic in this game is really, really cool. All right, we don't need that much lantern fuel. Let's sell three of those. I did find a port crystal. If you guys were here last session, I rode a griffin all the way back to, it, back to its nest, and there was a port crystal sitting inside its nest, which is pretty damn crazy. Sell one of those. Nope, only one. Okay. Um, perfect. Check Wolfheart real fast. You know, I'm just going to sell this shit. Okay, looking pretty good. We're going to sell these books, even though they're pretty badass spells. I think I want the money right now. Um, we'll sell the Jasper. I don't think you can use that in crafting. Awesome. Okay. Erish, and then Luality doesn't have anything. She does have a little bit on her. Let's just sell all this shit, man. Unless you're really good at inventory management in this game, just remember, you just gotta sell shit sometimes. Alright, let's see what we got here. So Wolfheart has... Let's see if we can get myself a... Ooh, baby. 12,000 gold for that. Oh, you know what? I can't even wear the ranger's pants. Or 5,000 for this plate armor. Damn, dude, I'm going to be so slow. <sighs> I got to get like an augment that allows me to carry more or something like that. We also have the scale jacket at 165. So the guardian plate armor is 180. 
but it weighs 4.84. And the scale jacket weighs 2.56. Honestly, I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to do that. Okay, one of those. Thank you. And then we'll take some... Let's see here. What do we got for boots? Patroller knee guards. Yep, we'll take one of those. Oh my god, yes. Dude, I just need... I don't think I have enough gold, but I'm buying that. Are you kidding me? That's a freaking lootly. And then for helms, let's see. I could just keep the helm that I have on right now. I wish there was a hide helmet option in this game. Like, why not include that? Like, that's a feature I think that is universally loved by all. Like, there's no complaints at all. You know what I mean? Especially, like, with my Wolfheart character. Like, I want to let my hair hit the wind. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be wearing, like, a tight leather helm or something like that. All right, we'll stick with what we got right now. Um, go to checkout is A. In other words, X. We'll equip these. And then I'm going to enhance some of my equipment. Start off by enhancing the sword. Beautiful. Probably not the best sword ever, but... We do it. It doesn't cost that much gold to upgrade your equipment in this game. Gladiator helm. That actually fits the backstory of my character. Um, let's upgrade the scale jacket. Beautiful. Can you not just go right to two? I need Arsp, Asp Toxa scale. I don't know what the hell that is. Okay. Tribal brace. Sure, we'll upgrade that. Let me check Wolfheart's gear. I gotta make sure I keep upgrading my pawns. And I'll check the chat here momentarily, guys. Just don't want to lose my train of thought when I'm in the inventory management phase right now. I get distracted really fast. I'm already distracted. <laughs> what was I doing? Shit. Uh, okay, Wolfheart's looking pretty good. We can upgrade the plumed hat, though. Sure, we'll do that. And then... Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Okay. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. Appreciate you, sir. It's most exhilarating to hand over such a sum. All right. Okay, we can sell both of those. The Ranger's Tights and the Traveler Gators I can sell, and I can also sell this cloak right here. So let me do that real fast. We have a journey to prepare for. Damn, I love Welcome cloaks in video games. Quality is what you need if you want. Sell those, sell those, sell the cloak. And I think we're good. I think we're good to go. What do you guys think? Yeah. Damn, it's just... These characters weigh so much in this damn game, it's crazy. The Ring of Cooling. We're gonna save that. Oh, I wasn't even wearing the Tribal Brace. Why did I upgrade that? That was stupid. To survive. Right. So before you check the Pope to see you again. Head over to the inn. Deposit a couple items and we're going to go off on our first journey today. Hey Josh, what's up? Marfin. Are there repeatable quests? I believe yes. I mean, you can always grind just by going out in the world and killing shit. It's that type of game. But I think um, the way it works in this game is I think there's a ton of like little tiny side quests that continually pop up which are similar to notification board quests from DD1. I think that's how it works. Well met. You are come to sh you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey. All right, let's go ahead and and deposit uh, my daggers. And I think we're looking pretty damn good. Reduce damage taken from fire attacks. I'm going to put that in my inventory and you guys will notice that if i go into my chest right here i do have a port crystal that's because i bought one on the cash shop so i could make that video going over the cash shop but i refuse to use it i'm not going to use it i'm just going to use the in-game items and i'm pretty sure when you're upgrading materials it pulls directly from your storage chest which i'm actually surprised that it does that because this game is so hardcore with so many of its mechanics like your your characters your pawns have to be close to your character if you want to interact with the vendors and things like that, but I'm pretty sure that your storage chest items carry over when you're upgrading. It was like that in DD1 too. 
All right, so let's go ahead and figure out our first quest. Much obliged. Um, it looks like I do need a rest. Actually, my ma max HP is pretty low. Well, you will soon forget the fatigue. And let's start of a, a new day. Journey. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. Your current strat has been to go out at night for more monsters to grind for early vocation levels. Nice, solid. Josh, thanks for the two dollar super chat. Can't believe seven months away from three years. Unbelievable, unbelievable support. Thank you. Hey, Pyro, what's up? Lothbrick. A lot of people are named User. Why are you guys all named User? User one two seven eight. All right, we got some gifts here. You know, it's kind of funny because I do have a little bit of streamer privilege right now with this game because so many people are hiring my pawn. I get all these items that I can then sell for gold. I kind of like it, though. It's like when I'm playing like an MMO or something, I don't want people to give me gear. But this is a little bit different. This is kind of cool. Like, I feel like I worked for it. Wolf, I made Wolfhard, upgraded his gear. And you guys have been hiring him. All right, put all in storage. My pawn traveled with all... Oh my god, Lazarus, what's up? Barak, is that Baraz? Mortal? Uh-oh, Mortal's been using my pawn. He's probably been yeeting him off cliffs. McFinley? I like that name. I fought along the most valiant fighter. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Off we go, then. I hope you slept well. You know, with the DLSS on, I'm not dropping into the 30s in the city. I don't think we got a patch yet for this game. Okay, so before we go kill some monsters, let me see what quest I'm right near right now. Pretty sure it's this one. Find out what's going on. It seems an argument, I was about to say augment, has broken out between a merchant and his customer. Perhaps you should see what all the fuss is about. Okay. Flip into the palace. Baron requires proper tools if he's to temper his recruits. Been given three tasks to call the goblins. Okay, let's see if we can find out what's going on in this area. The problem is, I should have done this quest right when I picked it up, because I don't really remember what's going on. But let's uh let's talk to a few folks around here. Tis good to be busy. What? True, man. Oh, here's our elven buddy. You know what, guys? G give me give me one minute. We're gonna look around this area, but I think we're gonna just go full force onto helping our buddy right here, this elf character. I'm really interested in going to Sacred Arbor, and I have a feeling that if we push on his quests right here, that we're going to eventually end up in the Elven Kingdom. What did you think of that story? was well told and all but not particularly exciting eh? i mean it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night isn't it i'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself so i came out here to learn his ways haven't learned much that's for sure and by the look of it he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts neither so where's all his coin coming from then makes a man wonder it does we got a scam artist hanging out here in the market square Keep an eye on the beggar. I'm already switching quests. We're gonna follow this guy. I knew this guy's haircut was too good to be some poor storyteller. What Not giving him shit. I'll have no trouble, thank you. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to try to find a little bench around here where you can pass some time. Um, look out for a bench that has like a little red cloth over it. I want to do that as opposed to actually resting. Here's a bench right here. Okay, I wonder if this will work. Let's give this a try. We're here to test things out. I mean, the city performance is still, it's still pretty bad, even on my computer. But do I have motion blur on right now? I really hope they patch the crap out of this game. It really sucks to see it, you know... It's such negative reviews when the game itself is, in my opinion, possibly one of the greatest open world action RPG systems I've seen in a very long time. Um, what do we got here? We got that. Secret Nason. Oh, do you have that on max? You know, I could lower a couple of these, but it's not too bad right now. 
And we have pretty much everything on high. Let me do texture down a little bit. We'll go that to six. Ooh, let's go down even more. Perfect. Okay, and then game settings, camera, interface, pawn commands, display. Camera distance. Yeah, there's so many settings, holy crap, in this game that I have never messed with before. Oh, wow, what the hell? Oh, I didn't know you could do this. Holy crap. Are all of you guys, have you guys looked at this setting before? Rick, I'll hire your pawn. Okay, I promise. I quite literally didn't know this existed, and why was I always on the, the bottom? Lip syncing is Japanese? Yeah, that's what I figured. Not that the lip animations are good anyways, but what's up, Brandon? You have camera distance all the way up? Or I'm going to go in the middle for now, because that's quite the change right there. Um... All these settings I didn't even really know exactly. Actually, you know, the first thing you should do when you play a game is look at all this shit. Priority of materials to combine. Select whether items should be taken from the pawn's inventories first or from the player's inventory first. So we have it on player destination of combined items. Let's have those. Okay, yeah, that's good. Damn, man. All these settings for the HUD, too. Display, brightness. Okay, graphics, one more second. I'm just looking for something. Screen resolution, frame rate, upscale. Motion blur is on, so I'm going to turn that off. I know a lot of people don't like watching it with that. Okay, awesome. All right, let's pass some time and see what this beggar's really up to. How does this work? I could have sworn that these benches pass time. Is the camera even out any further? I swear to God, I read in the tutorial that if you sit on one of these... Oh, you gotta doze off. Like an ox cart. Okay, let's try it again. Assuming this doesn't regenerate your HP, probably. And the beggar's gone. Oh, that's great. You gotta be kidding me. Just look for the dude with the Korean haircut. <laughs> look for the dude that's trying to be a beastron. Huh. Don't bother talking to me if you've not. I wonder if I should have not gone the night and I should have just waited around during that one. My first doze off that I did and maybe it would have be. I don't know this. I don't know where that, that guy went. Okay, well, <laughs> on to the next quest. <laughs> on to the next quest. Um, let's talk to the elf. Oh, um, yes. I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. Uh, I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself. Uh, mm -hmm. And even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing, no matter how they fascinate me. It isn't to be... All right, let's buy this guy a bow. The goblin's lair. I hope you can. I know, brother. I couldn't find your stupid staff, man. Peace of mind I ain't going back to that cave. You're out of your damn mind. Least. Gary, thank you so much for the five gifted subs on YouTube. Appreciate that, and welcome to all the new members. Thank you. All right, we're gonna buy the cheapest possible bow that I can here, which is this bow. I do so enjoy stocking up on food. These foreign bows do so intrigue me, but I shall admire them from afar. It would be unseemly. You would simply give this to me? 
Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, and yet tis unlike one in near every respect. Mm -hmm. Such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. I suppose that that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow, not of elven make. You know, even with the Japanese or the English voice over the Japanese words and the horrible facial animations, I just feel really immersed in the dialogue in this game for some reason. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me. I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trial of archery, mm -hmm. a time-honored elven custom. The trial of archery. I feel like I should have been born an elf. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I have been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so. Though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? I'm going to ask you guys a question in the chat. I'm giving you guys a free backseat gaming pass right now. Just one pass. You guys know if I have to switch to the archer vocation to do this quest? Because this guy is asking me to give him a demonstration of archery. I don't know if I can use Wolfheart or if I need to switch and actually be the archer vocation. Does anybody know? You do. Interesting. Okay, well, let's... Okay, let's become an archer. It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir. You give to me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. He's asking me to teach him archery, and I'm about to become an archer for the first time in my arisen career. Many thanks. I'm indebted to you twofold, but this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? Oh, okay, so we gotta go back to Trevo Mine. That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. Okay, I promise we're going to focus on this quest and only this quest right now, okay? So let's go ahead and buy ourselves a bow. The goblin's lair. I hope you can reclaim aught from the fiends. Maybe we can finish the Trayvall Mine quest while we're up there too. I couldn't find that damn beast. staff that I was looking for. Let's go ahead and buy a hunter's bow. Again. Or I could steal Wolfheart's bow. Yep, and we're just going to be naked when we go up there. Focus only on this quest. Yeah, sure. True. You're probably you're right. I probably won't. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go to the vocation master and now become an elf or not an elf. That was racist. Not all elves are archers. Become an archer. What's up, brother? Greetings. Welcome to the guild hall. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, Simply say the word. Yes, I would like to uh, become another vocation because I am undecided. Archer. Bam. Fundamentals of battle. The precision of the bow allows archers to strike down foes from a safe distance. This will be interesting. I'm kind of curious to see how the aim works with the archer. Using a bow, press X to loose an arrow, which will automatically target a nearby foe. Use L to aim a specific direction. Okay. And tap X repeatedly to continue firing at that same enemy. Loose allows for ease of aim, but as its arrows inflict minimal harm, it can only travel so far. Okay. Press LB to steady shot and fire an arrow with deadly precision. All right, we'll figure that out when we get the bow. Can't remember shit like that. All right. Um, oh, wait, why did I... How did I already have a bow? What the hell? Okay. All right, and I wonder if I should buy, like, a skill or two? Um, we could buy... I don't want to waste all my discipline points on the archer, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, let's go ahead and put on the augments. You guys got to make sure when you switch vocations that you put on those augments. Even if they're augments that you didn't earn from that particular vocation. I'm sure I'm going to be hiring plenty of pawns that don't have any augments equipped because it's kind of hard to remember that. All right, let's buy Dire Arrow. Fires a devastating shot that knocks down smaller targets. That's That looks badass. All right, we'll take that. I'm going to put that on... A. Oh, what the hell? We might as well buy Sweep Shot, too. I'm going to put that on B. Oh, what did I just do? There we go. And then for core skills, Leaping Punt. Yeah, might as well. Okay, let's uh, let's head on out to go do this Elven Quest. Press Y while performing a running jump. All right. Let me just switch to warrior real fast, and I want to make sure that I have... See, I didn't have my augments on the warrior. The augments that I earned from the thief class. I was already pulling a noob maneuver there. Now we have those enabled. So we'll go back to archer. Um, go to equipment menu. Awesome. So when you switch vocations, you just automatically get some gear? Or is this like gear that I had? I don't... How did I get... How did I end up with all this? I don't know. Do come again. All right. Cool. It comes with like its own set. First off, I shall see if you Damn, it doesn't look right playing a beast or an archer. Breasts. Upon my life, no foe shall approach the other one. Pretty cool though. Equipment levels were in the average. I should probably put my armor into the end real fast into my storage chest and we're out of here. Whoa, wrong button. Wait, hold on, hold on. I switched my buttons. Let me, I just want to reiterate this to all of you guys that are stopping in. I switched around left bumper and right bumper. So I'm going to be pressing the wrong buttons probably for the entirety of this session. But I think this is a better move for myself. I'm done for. Don't think I'll stand for I like the thief. Yeah, the thief is super cool. Really fast class. Brandon, what's up, man? Someone said you get gear on Switch. Yeah, apparently you do. Chess says, I'm supposed to be delivering a letter right now and instead decided to explore the cave that the griffin was blocking. Good evening, sir. I trust you fare you are a brave right soul, Chess. All right, let's deposit our warrior gear. That's kind of nice that they give you some gear when you switch vocations for the first time. I like that because it's kind of a hassle in this game. Deposit that. We'll deposit that. Keep on the cloak. And we're looking pretty damn good. I'm still in the light category, though. This shit, this shit amazes me, man. I gotta figure out who has the augment to reduce or to increase carrying capacity. It's probably the fighter class that does. Honestly, it might not be a bad idea to just level the fighter vocation before any other vocation just to get those augments to make you a little beefier and also carry things a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna put a bunch of shit in my storage, man. This is this is crazy. Got the fluted bow. I could probably sell that. Oh, I have to put the sword away too. Sword goes away. I'll just put the bow because I don't feel like going back to the trainer right now. And do I need my port crystal? I don't know where we're gonna place the port crystal. I think what I'm gonna do is travel back to Melv and then place a port crystal over in that area. So. I'm putting the poor crystal away. All right, off we go. Much obliged. We're setting off at nighttime. I'm fine with that. Take a look at the map. And we are going all the way up here. And actually, that might not be a bad poor crystal location. Hmm. 
maybe I will place a port crystal there until I find a better location. Because if I want to go back to the starting area or the town of Melv, this is going to... Um, hmm. We get five port crystals, or I think nine or ten port crystals actually in total. Let me pick up... You know what? Let's use the port crystal. We're going to place it down over there. Good evening, sir. I trust you There's no way to really know where you want to place your core crystals until you've played enough and know the actual map, so. Much obliged. And off we go. Too lazy to farm the fighter for the augment. Are you liking the game? Yeah, I'm I really I really think this this is a, an amazing game. What do I think of the bad reviews? Well, I actually made an entire video on that, so if you want to check out my thoughts on that, it's my most recent video on the channel. I don't really feel like getting into it right now. Drawing tall, hello? Your pawn's a warrior, Shy? Alright, so we gotta go. I went out the wrong door. Okay, back through the city we go. <laughs> my bad. Sesame, hello. Spaz, long time no see. Cats with bows is medieval version of cats with lasers. I really like the feeling when you start actually kind of understanding the layout of the land. It takes a while in video games, but especially a game like this where it doesn't really hold your hand. You're kind of required to engage with the world. And once it all starts coming together, it's so enjoyable. Like, I'm starting to kind of understand the city a little bit. The music in this game is just so damn good, man. And as I tell you guys, I'm starting to understand the city. I made a wrong turn. <laughs> nice. Trying to find out how to be a mystic spearhand. Yeah, I have no idea where that vocation master is. I wonder if the warfare vocation master is tough to find. Or if it's like endgame. Yeah, he says I bought a controller just so I can play this game properly. Nice. Definitely easier on controller. For sure. Okay. Off we go into the darkness. Let me try a few of my bow shots real fast. Maybe I shouldn't do it near the ox cart. Dude, where are my pawns? I am honored to be called to your side, Arif. Holy crap. I love how when you pull your weapon out, people perceive you as a threat. Like, that is so realistic. I wonder where this ox cart actually travels to. Wolfhart, shut up, now, God! And use them when the need arises. I'm trying to listen to these freaking people, man. Oh, see, I'm already pressing the wrong button. I don't know how to throw right now because I switched my buttons around. All right, so I got to do LB now. All right, there we go. What's the meaning of this arisen? I suppose we walked all that way from north. What am I supposed to do? What's this all about? Alright, so here we go. We got our loose attack. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, the bow is fun. Holy shit, this location is awesome. That felt way better than I thought it would. I was so soon. Oh, I was thinking it come through on skate. No doubt this trial will spur us into the next. Oh, 
firing arisen. There's aught yonder for your eye. That feels really good, Could man. You come over here? What's up, Wolf? What do you got for me, brother? No sense letting the enemy gain the other hand. Early tripping gets the worm. So. This location is awesome. You know what I really like about like hunter vocations or rangers is I feel like bows in a lot of these fantasy medieval games are some of the most fun weapons to find and upgrade. They just look so damn good on your character's back. You guys agree with that? Oh shit. Not a fan of green goblins. That's messed up, Mr. Hardcore. Hey, by the way, Mr. Hardcore, are you Mrs. Hardcore on this game? Because I think I hired your pawn the other day. How you doing, by the way? How's the streaming going? Was that Smeagol? Are we leaving already? Bother. I was just getting warmed up. Shit, oh! Dude, what, what's going on? Okay. How to do that jumping punt thing? And I'm also pressing the wrong buttons because of my button mapping. How do you dodge with this class? You can't, man. It's so weird. It's so weird coming from a thief and playing an archer that can't actually dodge. Dude, I swear to freaking god, when I switch to the freaking warrior vocation, I'm gonna come out here and chop off every motherfucking Saurian's tail. I'm gonna whip them suckers into the river and start pissing on the freaking... Alright, it's gonna be okay. Sick, stupid ass lizards. Oh, 
going to the pet store after after today's session. And I'm buying a fucking lizard. Now we got a stupid goblin tooting a horn. Where the hell is this freaking jabroni? Do my eyes deceive me? Or has our phone multiplied? Our battle will never be done at this rate. Holy crap, that was a little bit of a wake-up call for the archer class. Oh my god. Dude, I just got destroyed. You know what sucks about the button switches that I made? The only thing that I'm noticing that I don't like about this switch is now to, to take a health potion. Over here. I have to use RB and up on the D-pad, which takes my hand off of the movement joystick. That's something that's going to take a little bit to get used to. But I think this change is still much better overall because I can't imagine aiming my bow with right bumper. Left bumper is just how it is in like every video game. Okay. Well, I'm pretty much have no health right now. That was a hell of a start. You know, honestly, you know what I might do? And I think this is really cool. I'm going to go back to the city and rest until morning. Unless there's a campsite out here that I can actually rest at. I don't know if there's one on the map. Because if you guys remember, last night I pushed my characters to the limit in that cave. And it got to a point of where my max HP was so low that even like jumping down a little rock, if I landed wrong, my character died. I'm wondering if there's a campsite out here somewhere. I feel like there's gotta be. You know what I'm saying? Game sound? Oh, sorry. Hoping for some great treasure. Now I feel a fool. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Boulder looks mighty heavy, but we might just be able to move it if we combine our efforts. <laughs> This will seem a bit of a consequence, but it will last us. Fall back! Wait right there.
This game is incredible. Like, this shit is so much fun. Like, this is, this is the best combat system ever invented in a video game to date. I wanted to say that about DD1, but DD1 just had too many, you know, little little problems with it. It wasn't really complete. This shit's this this is incredible. I really hope that other games like take inspiration from a lot of the systems in DD2, which is why I'm really sad that the game just had such a bad launch. Because Capcom was sitting on a freaking gold mine here, man. So this is one of the strengths of playing the archer vocation. I remember this in DD1. You can aim all your shots. And in this game, there's so many creatures that have different weak points. So when you're playing like as a warrior or a fighter, or even a thief, like sometimes it's really hard to get to the head of certain creatures. With the archer, it's easy. fucking Legolas in the making right now like I might as well just change my character's name to Legolas right now like we had a little bit of a rough start but I think you guys are seeing the real Wolfheart Legolas come out right now Shots left and right, but okay. D. Hey Marie, hello. Climbing on enemies as a thief is so good. I gotta try that with the archer too. The thief and the archer are just so good with stamina. It'd be cool to climb up like on a cyclops. And then just shoot the Cyclops in the head, like Legolas does. Oxen are to be found. In the Fellowship of the Ring, in the Mines of Moria. Such beasts are I mean, if you guys want me to do that, I'll do that. You guys don't believe that I should be Legolas. I can make that happen for you. This is a crazy journey right now. And we're not even halfway. Hope I can find a campsite. Have at me. Oh, there's arrow drop in this game too. I don't suppose begging for a reprieve would get as far with one of this up. Whoa, the goblins are in their grass. These little buggers are hiding everywhere. I'm seriously considering turning Wolfheart into a fighter so you guys can have a tank, those of you guys that hire me. 
and then making my character an archer because this is just incredible this this is so smooth this feels so good the attacks are so good why do i feel like i'm near sacred arbor right now it's taking every ounce of my strength just to remain safe. Will this march never end what if you can cancel your shot that's not how you do it I mean, if you guys want to clip that and put it on YouTube, 100k views, easy for you. Easy payday right there. At this rate, I don't think I even need pawns anymore. If being an archer was an animal, this would be my spirit animal. Absolutely incredible. All right, back to the road. Useful ingredients to be gathered here, Wait till the salamanders find you again. As much as we hey Thomas, what's up? I played the original with only my main pawn. That's pretty cool, Sergio. I like how you're able to do that, and then you get more XP in return. I think that's pretty cool. My party is screwed up right now. Look at Erish's max health right now. We gotta find a campsite. I don't see one anywhere, though. You guys wanna see something? Watch this. Hit it. It just didn't register. We have a wolf. We have a pack of wolves fighting the slime over here. This is incredible. I don't think I can hurt the slime, though, with arrows. They have to be magic arrows, which I now have, so that's awesome. Time to get revenge on the lizard folk. Slime's coming right now. I want to shoot its tail, but I don't want to impress you guys that much, you know what I'm saying? If, I, if I'm if i too good in front of you guys, you guys won't be able to relate to me. So you go watch somebody else, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta, I gotta pull back my skills a little bit from time to time. I really, really like the whole knocking arrow thing here and loosing the arrows like it's so cool how you can release your arrow at any time in the drawback like really quickly the weakest arrow or you can do halfway a little bit stronger or all the way 
Like, that's incredible. This game's combat system is just so, like, so nuanced. This first, like, hour of the stream might be the most fun that I've had in this game so far. I know DD1 was a game where the more you played, the more fun it became. I think it's the same for DD2. Now, where the hell's the campsite? Left us a gift. I'll see it safely into my pack. Don't you worry. Twitch is laggy right now? Yeah, my bad, guys. Hey, Marco, what's up, man? Just cross the water? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> How you doing, Marco? I'm ready for you to analyze some DD2 music, man. The music has just really stood out to me. It's like, it has really good, like, contrast in this game. Like, just these nice, beautiful, serene songs with, like, some light piano playing, and then all of a sudden a big-ass minotaur comes out of the woods. And it changes this epic, epic orchestral piece. Come to think of it, our ranks have gone unchanged for a while now. All right, so what is this right here? Harmony betwixt us. Oh, it's a goblin village. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So I want to be smart, and we're going to not go down to that goblin village. In most games, you would go down to that goblin village, but I'm realizing that my max HP is only about half right now. And we need to get to our elven buddy as fast as possible. So actually, I think I do have to cross the water. And hopefully there's some safety up here. I'm actually kind of curious right now if we're going to be ending up in Sacred Arbor at some point in the near future. Never going to caves in this game. Some of the caves are so deep in this game. I remember I went into a cave and I was like 20 minutes into it. And then some gigantic ghost popped out and I just wiped and had to start over. Oh, this is beautiful. This is... This is incredible. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. The creature's corpse will serve us well. Strike true, lest the beast flee. My lantern is still on. I knew that. I had it out for tactical purposes. You guys wouldn't understand. It's an archer thing. No, come with me. We're not fighting more Saurians right now. I definitely do feel like there's an overabundance of creatures in this world, though. Shit, just what I needed. Great. Well, might as well pull a Legolas for you guys. Displaying bowmanship for an elf. My hand would tremble on the string if you me. I feel like this might be a rough one with all my characters' HP. They weren't supposed to come on the high ground with me. My pawns aren't the smartest, are they? are not detecting anything right now. 
I think it must have fallen off the cliff. Oh, there it is. I think it's so cool that the pawns will carry over your downed companions and they'll bring them over to you. Get up over here. Get up. Get up, buddy. I want to do something. Well, that's a way to ruin my Legolas moment. I'm honestly not that scared of Cyclops anymore. They're pretty easy. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. That still only counts as one. Now and use them when the need arises. Golf clap. You better be clapping harder than that, Rick. What the hell is going on here? I'm having a hard time seeing in these elven woodlands. I feel like the sound design in this game is really good, but the directional sound is kind of piss poor. So what I gotta do with the archer is I have to find like some mobility weapon skill. Obviously I just became the archer about a half hour ago. When I go back to the city I definitely want to buy like a mobility skill because it's pretty rough right now not being able to dodge out of the way. As such a fragile class, you know? Houston, we have a problem. Damn, I 
I kind of deserve that. Carly, Carly, hello. I kind of deserve that. I have a tank. The problem right now is one, I'm a rank one archer. Two, all my archer gear is also like beginner's gear. And three, my max HP for my group, especially my tank, was at like 20%. My tank couldn't even take like two hits. You see that health right there? I have to, um, ah uh, shit, we're gonna do it again. I have to rest, that's the biggest thing. And I actually contemplated going back to the city halfway through this journey, but we're so close to the objective. Really cool how like if you look out the enemy's animations like this is a the, the combat in this game is not like insanely hard but it also there's a really high like possibility and opportunity to become really skilled at this game there's like so many little nuances and things that you can take notice of like good players will eventually get really good at like uh, shooting opponents at the exact time right before they're about to launch something or something like that Luality's going down. I'm in big trouble again. This is cool. The, the bandit and the Saurians are fighting right now. Just really working in my favor. site nearby i might have to try to find one right now i'm really close to winning this combat encounter but weak spot damage with arrows yeah exactly like there's a lot of opportunity to uh increase your skill in this game it's not just a mindless hack and slash all right come on everybody come with me I feel like I'm playing Lord of the Rings right now. Like we're in the Fellowship of the Ring towards the end with all the orcs chasing the Fellowship. Okay. <laughs> Take a breather for a second, holy crap. Yeah, you guys see my HP right now for my tank right now? That's the max HP because I need to rest. And I haven't found a place to rest yet. I might take my anger out on this deer. What do you guys think? Oh, shit. Hopefully it's just one. Oh, 
Oh shit. Not even worth getting my tank up. See ya. I definitely recommend, you know what? After playing the archer, after going from fighter, uh, apparently there's another foe around here. Hold on one second. Somebody else? Nope, we're good. After going from fighter to thief and then to archer, all of these vocations are just so unique from one another. And they really feel unique too, like down to the core of the gameplay. I would honestly, honestly recommend those of you guys who are just starting, like play all four of the starting vocations when you're in the starting area and try to see which one fits you the best. Alright, so I don't... I don't see a place to camp around here. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Let me go into my inventory. Wrong button. Funny thing is, I don't even think I brought, unless it's on Wolfheart. I don't think I brought a camping kit with me. <laughs> Damn. I don't see a camping kit in my inventory. So I think this means that we have to try to find this elf, because I'm not going all the way back to the city and just try to avoid combat encounters for a little while. I thought I grabbed one from my storage, but apparently I forgot. So it is what it is. It's taking every ounce of my strength. Just to remain standing. But I am in a rough this state right now, and I can end. certainly feel that. I fear for yeah, Alex, what's up? If we were to be set upon now. Yeah, Rick says, I usually go sword and board in games, but Thief called me. Yeah, you just gotta give all the vocations a try, because they just... Like, I never expected Archer to feel this good. Like, this is incredible. Alright, these are the Saurians right here. I don't know what that little thing on my mini-map is. There's a little marker right here. All right, I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna kick these guys' ass. I'll be fine. I should be fine here. If you guys are wondering why I'm aiming at the tails, because the tails actually can come off on these creatures. And it then makes them more vulnerable to damage, so... Oh, shit. Dude, the reach! So badass, dude. <laughs> oh, that's actually our elven friend. I thought it was a bandit. 
That's why it's on the map right here. I feel like I was trying to kill that guy earlier. Uh, this isn't the elf, and I'm kind of stuck reviving right now. Well, this is ruining what would otherwise be a really good scene. Okay, there we go. So the elves speak elvish in this game, and I think the vast majority of them you can't actually speak to unless you have a special trait on one of your pawns which allows the pawn to speak elvish and therefore translate the language over to your character and i don't know what that elf said and he's now gone but i have a feeling that we are currently very very close to sacred arbor the elven encampment so did i lose a pawn yep my tank is gone for good what say you, Master? Oh, they can send even the most troublesome of foes. Just we're so close right now, I don't want to go back and rest, you know what I mean? I think I can I can fight this out. I should probably save though. There we go. I don't know how you get the elf speech specialization, I'm not sure yet. Racha, hello. I feel like it's a long time no see. Vital is their weak spot, true, yeah. Hargava, hello. What do you think of the microtransactions? Oh, I put out an entire video going over my thoughts for that game, so I'll direct you to that video. I'd rather not get into it right now during the stream. My most recent uh, most most recent video on my channel goes over uh, goes over things like that. All right, this is really cool. But I mean, obviously, I don't like microtransactions. You guys know that. I don't like them in any game. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. There's our elven buddy. What's his name? Gwindel? Gwindling? I think there's a treasure chest up here. I don't think I'm at Sacred Arbor right now, but I think we're probably close. I think this is just where our buddy wants to train. So just a little reminder for you guys. A little refresher here. Venture north of the Trevo Mine and seek out the ruins where Glindweir trains. As a matter of fact, which is for you, Mark. Who? True to your word, you have come. Let us begin at once. Um, I, I should like to observe your form first and foremost. Uh, uh, so, so stand here and take your aim at yon targets. You have my gratitude. I learned much from you just now. <laughs> okay, dude. The elves are kind of weird. In fact, I have made a discovery. This dude hitting on me? Unlike those of Elven Mage, bows crafted by other races are designed for keen aim. Is that not so? But I can see this is no revelation for you. I expect you thought this design common to all bows, yes? Not so for those of Elven Mage, however. Our bows are crafted to guide not the hand, but the heart. Well, that sounds pretty stupid. Mayhap you will find the sentiment strange, but such is the perspective of elven kind. Oh, okay. We are taught that arrows loose to a proper form will strike true, as if it is all a matter of poise. Dude's living in fairy tale land. I admit, I find it rather baffling myself. Perhaps that is why my bowmanship has failed to improve. No, it's probably because you're aiming with your heart, dumbass. <laughs> 
fucking game, man. Yo, what's up, Slander? Hey, Slander, by the way, I was watching Slander play Sorcerer last night. The magic in this game looks so cool. I just switched to Archer like an hour ago, Slander, for this quest. And it is, it's so fun, man. I didn't expect like these other vocations to, to be so much fun. Yet with this bow, I begin to understand. Let us see if I fare any better now. Huzzah! Oh, that's what Ed Greenwood says. What a feat! I, I, I can hardly believe it. Every last arrow found its mark. Yeah, that's what Dead happens center. when you actually aim at your target. This marvel is, is nothing at all like an elven bow. The design allows for ease of aim and steadfast flight of each arrow. To think that I should, I should feel such a difference. Mayhap I am more suited to a bow of foreign make than one of my own people's. It is a strange thought, but how else to explain it? My arrows have not soared so true in all my days. I'd nearly given up on myself. Yet it would seem I am not without talent after all. My performance of this bow has divested me of such doubts. Mm -hmm. But the ingenuity of this design, if only my people would take heed. It is all very well to talk of honing one's form. But why should we not perfect the tool so integral to our customs? I am decided. I shall take this bow back to the arbor. The sacred arbor? With this is my weapon. I have no doubt I shall pass my trial of archery. So this guy is on kind of like a rite of passage mission right now. Similar to Lazel in Baldur's Gate 3. Who's part of the Githyanki crash and trying to earn her right into mature Githyanki society by taking a Mind Flayer's head. This has been a really fun quest so far. Bringing me up here, so I'm not sure where this quest goes from here. Uh, Wolf Fart FPS, thank you for the $5 super chat. I have loved the police department so far. It's Is that you, Josh? It's a lot of fun. You can't believe the people who call, call the police for stupid stuff. I'm sure, man. I'm sure you guys get some crazy phone calls. Thanks for the five, man. All right, let's have another chat with him real fast. With the bow you gifted me in hand, I no longer dread being put to trial. Okay, so I think maybe he just shows up later in the city, probably, and tells us how it went for himself, and then he might actually take us to Sacred Arbor, is what I'm thinking here. Now, I would really, really like to explore, but I think I really have to go back to the city. I'm very curious what's in here. So what I'm going to do is place a port crystal. Let's place it right here. Tis done, Master. Now a fairy stone can whisk us here whensoever we desire. And uh, we can travel back here. It's pretty damn far from the city. Because I'm just going to assume that the Elven Sacred Arbor is in this area, although it might not be. Crazy how big this game is. Let me see if I can get these two chests real fast, though, and then we're going to head back to the city, clean up, rest, get some new pawns, and then we'll push on with our next quest. A little bit scared to go in here and explore. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be opponents in here. I don't know how to get the chest up here. This is what I'm wondering. There must be a way to get up here. Pretty sure there's a chest on top of that. Full fart FPS. Thanks for the two. It's Josh. I figured, man. Hope it's going well for you. Noticed, but not one of us has any skill with the sword. I mislike how we're odds in a melee. We've done all right for ourselves so far. Why shouldn't our luck continue? Why can't I help myself? Why am I why am I going deeper into this cave? <laughs> this is called I the Forgotten Tunnel. To find a cave in a place like this. 
Might I recommend we venture inside before bandits find us? I don't know how you get to the top up here. There's definitely a couple chests that are on the high ground here. I wonder if I can circle around and get up there. Who is this guy right here? That looks like a bandit or a thief. Okay. Uh, must be smart. Let's go back to the capital now. I don't have any fairy stones, but we do have that poor crystal. So does anybody know if there's an eternal fairy stone in this game? Like there was in the first game? Oh, I do have a fairy stone. Awesome. I still get confused with Lionheart and Wolfheart, and I keep thinking that my character is Wolfheart. Just confuses the hell out of me. All right, we're going to go back to Venwar. And let's hope that we meet Glindweir at some point in the near future. The game is so janky. I don't know. It doesn't feel janky to me. People said that about DD1, though, too, and I didn't really feel that way. But fair enough. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's take a little resty poo. Get our well max met. HP back. You are come. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all. All Vernworth. I'm noticing that I use health potions a lot more in this game than in DD1. It's definitely more difficult, at least in the beginning. You know where to find me. Like, do you guys notice that, like, even the goblins in this game? This like, I had, like, three of them run at my fighter, and they all just tackled my fighter to the ground and staggered the crap out of me. You get staggered a lot more in this game. Is that beggar out right now? I still want to do that quest, but I don't see him anymore, so I don't know what happened to that. Not much going on here about. I don't know. I don't know where he went, so... Alright, let's take a nap. And you know, I could switch back to warrior, but I just feel like I almost want to stay as an archer now. Well met! You, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the... There are worse things than turning in early, I must say. Unlimited fairy stones for sale, 10k a piece. Oh. Interesting, okay. Do you know what NPC you buy that from? Definitely felt like DD1 was janky, but don't feel that way about this game, despite the issues the game clearly has. I don't know, I just kind of like, I don't mind jank in games if I really like the game. Like, Outward is one of the most janky games of all time. It's a survival RPG, and I really enjoyed it. All right, so somebody hired Wolfheart. I wonder if it was slandered. This journey taught me to expect the unexpected. I suffered much injustice at the Arisen's hands. I suffered much injustice at the Arisen's hands. I haven't done the ox cart quest, no. Is this a joke? That had to be Luality. I, I'm I'm getting rotten fish, green warish, fine robrant, explosive arrow, and scrap iron. The gift giver is oh these are from multiple people. Okay. Well, one of you guys One of you guys is trying to start some beef with me, aren't you? Hmm, okay. It wasn't Luality. Just as daunting to battle Cyclops. Now we need the Vim to tackle the day ahead. Off we go then. I don't really appreciate that, guys. What did I ever do to you guys? Welcome to Bjorn's armor and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if all you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths.
I know I should save some of these, but sometimes I get sick of going to my storage. Hope to see you again. Come here, Wolfheart. You're not close enough, buddy. That's just as well. Hail, friend. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Wolf. Glad you're alive again. I'm having such a blast with the game. I just made it to the capital. Awesome. Enjoy, Cassie. Take your time in the capital. There's so much to do. So much to see. It is not long now ere I am to undertake the trial of archery. I thought it only right to tell you that, as you were the one who gifted me the bow that I'll be using. I was also rather hoping you would consider attending. No one could be worthier of witnessing this milestone in elven archery than you. Ah. But the path to the arbor is not easily found or followed. It would be best I escorted you. Yes! There is a log bridge near the ruins where I train. I'll await you on the other side. Come find me when you are ready to make for the sacred arbor, the village of my people. Are we doing it right now? What do you guys think? How is Loyalty's pawn? Pretty good. She's pretty high level. On my first day, it was pretty questionable, but... Shall we take a closer look? Now, her pawn has gotten much better. <laughs> so I think we're just going to stick with this quest for now. Try to stay focused on one at a time. And uh, elves are some of my favorite humanoids in all of fantasy RPGs. Minus this Glindwear guy. He's kind of weird, but... We might take a trip to the Elven Sacred Arbor. This should be a pretty fun session. Um, I do have a shit ton of quests to do, but let's just focus on the Trial of Archery. Join Glindwear at his place of training, that he might lead you to the Sacred Arbor, where his trial is to take place. So first, I'm going to go to the Vocation Master, and I'm going to stay as an archer for a little while. I feel like the uh, the elves might accept me a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get a little brownie points. I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the local but I also might go back to the warrior, like, halfway through this session. Because I feel like I'm also going to like the warrior, but damn, the archer just feels really good. There's been a shift in the chain of command. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught, I may assist you. Okay, so we're going to upgrade. First thing I want to do is check augments here. And we'll buy that because we have six augment slots, so I think those probably should take priority after you get a few weapon skills. Parting shot. Fires an arrow while jumping back after performing a leaping punt. Grab that for mobility. And swift knock enables the user to knock arrows more quickly when using loose or steady shot. Easy sell. Then we have keen sight, exploding shot, and tarring shot. Right now I have barrage shot and nothing in Y, so we can pick up one of these. Keen sight allows the user's vision to increase. Hmm. Okay, I didn't really feel like I was lacking range before, but... Fires a loaded arrow that adheres to foe's terrain. The arrow will burst when attacked after a long time and can knock targets off balance. And then Tarring Shot. Fires a loaded arrow that adheres to foe's terrain. Explodes after a time or if attacked, tarring the targets and those who draw near. So what does a Tarring do? Make them vulnerable to fire damage, I'm assuming. So you'd have to get... Like some synergies going with other pawns. I'm going to grab Exploding Shot. And we'll equip that right there. And we'll just hold off on those for now. Although I could get rid of Sweep Shot. Ah, Sweep Shot's pretty good. And unfortunately, I don't really have any dodge or anything. I'm not sure if... Maybe the Archer doesn't get a dodge, but maybe it's just like this Leaping Punt stuff where you jump on enemies' heads and then bounce off. Damn, I had Thief all the way to rank 5. That's crazy. If simply say the word. Alright, also let me check Wolfhearts really fast. I could change Wolfheart to... Uh... Should I run Double Archer? I'm tempted to change Wolfheart to a Fighter right now. Damn it, man. I got some decisions to make right now. Wait till you get Mystic Spear. I'm excited. Get a slower pin shot. Yeah, I think there's a lot of weapon skills in this game. I just got to rank up my vocation to get access to more of them. I did like the Thief Slandered. I think um, 
I think it might be my least favorite out of the three so far, but once I switched to the Thief, the mobility was insane. If you like to just zip around the battlefield, slashing opponents' throats and things like that, I think it's a really cool class. And I also really like the ensnare ability where you pull out the rope and you just yank somebody closer to you. Really cool. All right, so I'm tempted to turn Wolfheart now into... Let's see, what is his vocation rank? You know what, never mind. Let's just keep Wolfheart as an archer. I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna max out Wolfheart as an archer, and then we'll switch vocations after that. But for now, we'll just keep him looking good, feeling good, and shooting good. Wonder if you would even use that right there. His vocation rank six. Okay, so let's pick up um let's pick up radiance. Causes your lantern to consume less oil and illuminate a wider area. Grab that. Powerful spinning arrow. That's pretty cool. There's just a lot in this game. It's crazy. Yeah, I think there's some really cool synergies that you can do in this game. Like if I had, if I gave Wolfheart Tarring Shot and then I was playing like a thief with the ignited blades, like that would work really well together. Josh, thank you for the five gifted. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Ensnare is your favorite ability, Rick? Yeah, it's pretty badass, right? All right, hold on one second, guys. I'm having a little bit of a dilemma in my brain. I don't know what I want to do here. I have 2,600 discipline points. Um, I don't want to use Keen Sight with Wolfheart. We have Torrent Shots. I don't really need any of these right now because I'm full. All right, we'll just buy Puncture Dart. Um, and you know what? I'm going to buy Radiance. Why not? There we go. Okay. It actually might be nice having a pawn that has a wider area for the lantern. You know what I mean? When you're adventuring around, you can see the battlefield a little bit better. So. Always a pleasure. All right, brother. We're going to head on out to the Elven Lands. Let me just go back to the shopkeeper and see if we can upgrade my bow a little bit. Or maybe buy a better bow now that I'm really liking this vocation. I feel like I'm clickbaiting everyone, though, because the title of the stream is Warrior. <laughs> We're going to go back to Warrior at some point. What's up, brother? How are you doing? The goblins left. I hope you can reclaim ought from the fiends. Kind of getting sick of this guy telling me about his quest. All right, so let's see. The bespoke bow is actually an upgrade, so I'm gonna buy that right now. Um, for ten thousand gold, that's pretty much all I have. Damn it! I'm a broke boy. I'm a freaking broke boy, folks. We got to pick up my camping kit before I leave. Don't forget that. Oh my god. Ring of Proxidomy. A ring imbued with power offers a greater boost to the strength of bow attacks the closer the wearer is to the target. Damn, that's incredible. I like how that's vocation specific. That's really cool. And um, let's get rid of that. Don't need the drenched debilitation. Screw the blighted debilitation. And we're not going to sleep today. So, perfect. And we're going to sell one of the lantern oils. And also, see what Wolfheart has on him. Get rid of those arrows. Wrenching arrows. Nice, nice. And the reality. Okay. Mind to know someone. And let's increase the bow a little bit. Perfect. Taught them a lesson at least. Saurian scales for rank two of the bow. Nice. Let me see if I can find my camping kit. And we're going to hire another pawn, of course, too. Well met. You are come. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey. Withdraw. Please be a camping kit. Oh, I have plenty of camping kits. We have a modest one and a mundane one. So we want one modest one. Maybe two. Ah, one's good. 
when treated to the foremost hospital. Much obliged. Okay, and let's go to the Rift Stone. All right, so we have Luality right now as our mage. Um, she's level 23, so she's perfectly fine. Um, let's see, I think I need a good tank right now. Two archers, a tank, and a mage. We got Molly right here. I wonder who this is. Username, Dorchat. Sure. I hope I can count on you in a scrape. We'll give Dorchat a try. I don't know who that is, but it's obviously somebody that watches the channel. A lot of mages in here. And there's those sorcerers. We don't like those sorcerers. All right, we're out of here. Here we go. Oh, I should set a pawn quest. My bad, guys. I haven't been setting pawn quests for you guys. All right, so what do we have here? We have pawn badges. Defeat Cyclops times one, and then we'll give that player... Everybody likes, you know what? Let's just tell it straight here. You guys know when you get like a stupid gift from a relative, you don't actually use it. You say thank you, but then you go home and you never touch it ever again. Everybody likes to get money, right? So let's just be real here. And I'm going to give gold to the people that help me out. So I'm going to give you guys, I'm thinking 300 gold's a modest price. 301. There you go. Kill the Cyclops, you guys get 300 gold. That's what you get when you hire Wolfheart's pawns, all right? We don't play games around here. We tell it the way that it is. I never even looked at the official font pawns before. These are all people like in the Capcom creator program or something like. I think they are. I don't recognize any of these names. Um, unless these are the pawn names, unless it's not like the name of a content creator. Oh, I, I recognize Rurikin. Um, see any other content creators that I recognize here? I guess it depends on what they name their pawn, though, you know? Um, that's the only only name that I actually recognize. Okay. Oh, username. Here we go. Uh, Fighting Cowboy is another creator. Big focus on Souls content. Uh, Super Rad does retrospective videos. Dog Hole. I don't reckon I, <laughs> I don't know what that channel is, but I, I don't recommend going to it. Okay. Never know what you're gonna get at the Dog Hole channel. All right. Off we go. Let's go to the Elven Sacred Arbor. So who is the NPC that sells the Eternal Fairy Stone? Somebody said that in chat earlier and then I never looked for the answer. What, what, would, what do you say makes you enjoy the game the most? Probably the open world design. This really seems to reward exploration and it's highly immersive. And also the lack of hand holding in this game actually really, really makes me immerse myself in the game. Even if I'm not always the best at it sometimes because I'm pretty stupid when I'm streaming sometimes. So, All right. Let's uh, think about who would sell an eternal fairy stone. Now, listen close. Put the bounty at 10,000. I can't afford 10,000 gold. You're out of your damn mind. What do I look like? Am I going to change Wolfhard's vocation? Not yet, Sesame. I think I want to rank him to max level archer and then we'll switch vocations up. They oh, they cost 10k. Okay, I see what you're saying. Well, okay, I can't afford that, so let's just go. Let's get out of here. So I'll have to explore like all these houses in the city. I've barely done anything in the city. I felt a little overwhelmed when I got here the first time, so Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Um, how do you get up here though? Not that way. Well, I'm glad I'm not a streamer. 
Oh yeah, there's Oxbox definitely a difference between live streaming a game and playing a game offline. There's a huge difference. Sir Ludolf's lust knows no bounds. This time he's set his sights on the watchhead's misses. Still, however pressed, no man is like to hand her his own wife, eh? The watchhead refused, and rightly so. But his lordship doesn't take no for an answer. He employed his usual method, which is to say, he dispatched the watchhead on a mission to slay a Dullahan. The Dullahan is based on the Headless Horseman in Irish folklore, I believe. And this enemy, I think, only comes out at night, and we saw it in some of the trailers, and it is absolutely terrifying. Poor old Gregor departed last night. I'm sorry to say it, but he shan't be returning alive. That's the sort of man that noble is, you see? Naught noble about him, if you ask me. Okay, so get to the point, brother. There are useful ingredients to be gathered. That's all that guy wanted to do was rant to me. You get the chest and the tall building and the coin. I have no idea what you're talking about, William, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but I wouldn't, don't even bother explaining it to me because we're going off on the elven quest right now. Okay, but, but apparently I can't find this bridge for some reason. Why am I having a hard time getting to this bridge? I always do that. I go too far north to the nobles' quarters. Oh, you know what I can do here? I could fairy stone back. I just have to buy a fairy stone. I could fairy stone to our pork crystal out here. Andre. You know what? Hold on one second, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going back real fast to the market district. I don't have any gold right now, but I'm kind of curious about something. I'm very curious about something. Go on, have a look. Pleasure doing business. Okay. Let's head on out. Where is that one guy that I helped out his granddaughter, Flora? Oh, where is he in the district? Hey, G, what's up? G, G? How do you pronounce that? I don't know where that guy went. Now there's a worthy prize. If only to work so far away. Need anything? Okay, so this is the guy that sells the fairy stones. That's not the eternal one though. Damn, that's expensive. 10k to only get one fast travel. Oh wow, this guy sells armor too? Holy crap. What have I been missing out on? The Grass Pattern Camping Kit. A kit that can be used to set up camp at suitable locations, particularly sturdy against monsters that prowl Vermundian soil. Alright. It is what it is. We gotta make the journey by foot. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Because I actually really like how the fast travel works in this game. Off we go. One day, I'm going to have proper rain. That's Flora. I don't use doors. I'm a feline. Doors, doors are for humans. Now, I wonder where this ox cart actually travels to. How do you figure out where it goes to? 
Should you espy any large monsters fall on clearing the high roads of such obstructions, but our hands are oft over full with culling and escort missions, so that we must trust to nature to run its course. The bodies will decay over time, mm -hmm. but the winds will sweep away the remains. It only takes a matter of days. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. The checkpoint rest town. Ox carts are relatively safe means of traveling between towns. Their services are available at regular intervals for a fair sum of gold. You only need to visit an ox cart station, pay the fare, and climb aboard. The ox will do the rest. How you spend your journey is up to you. You can enjoy the scenery rolling slowly by or doze off and make the road feel much shorter. Um, let's take a look on our map. The checkpoint rest station. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of tempted just to take it to see where we end up, though. You know what I mean? It can't be. Hey, watch, it just brings me, like, across the Beastern Nation or something like that. Checkpoint Resting Nation. All right, we're not doing it. We'll make the journey by foot. Take it? I don't trust you. I don't trust you guys. Hey, Hex. Well, okay, I know this road by heart. We've already made this journey one time. We can do it again. We're doing it in the daytime this time, so it should be much, much easier. It won't take that long. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget that... when we need them most. It always feels like such a journey when you set off in this game just to do one quest. Like, you just feel like you gotta pack up and prepare for it and you head on out for a long day. And I really appreciate that in this game. Like, I do think that fast travel is necessary in this game for ultimate enjoyment, but I just really like, like, how they force you to first pay... Place the port crystals across the world and you have to also figure out like what locations you want to place those port crystals in i think that's a really cool way to do fast travel in the game yay thank you for the tier one sub over on twitch freshly rested as we are this battle ought to be in our favor try not to get hit let's not let vim go to waste how you doing, brother? I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. It's a Capcom pawn. I refuse to hire those. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. I'm sure we'll find a place. Almost in the very light category. Let's see if we can get into it real fast. Let's give Wolfheart some stuff. Run a little bit faster. Wolf can be in the light category. Oh, it's because I have all these. Oh, still not in the light category. Give the Wolfheart. I'm not going to have any heals on my character, though. That's okay. For this journey, I'd rather run much quicker. We'll hang on to one health potion. We'll give that to Wolfheart too. So close to the cat, so close to the very light category right now. Are you kidding me? It's just really hard because I'll have to eat the beetle. Hold on. Ah, there you go. The beetle helped me for this journey. Can't pick up anything. Chuck Norris, thank you for the Twitch Prime.
I wonder if those actually stack. Hold on, do those stack? Oh, they... I didn't see the weight go down, so we'll stop doing that. Oh my god. This boulder looks mighty heavy, but we might just be able to move it to combine our efforts. So we give it a push and see what happens. Those of you guys that are just stopping in right now, I'm heading to the northern land of Sacred Arbor. Actually, I don't think it's a land. I think it's just a village or an encampment, which is home of the elves. So today should be a pretty special session because in DD1, Capcom actually cut elves and dwarves and Beastrin from the game. Uh, Itsuno's initial vision wasn't able to be achieved because of budgeting and time restraints. And with DD2, I think his vision has come true. It has occurred, and now we're going to go meet the elves. I just really appreciate how this game is like... It's like kind of grounded, but it's also fantasy. Low fantasy. You know what I mean? Like Game of Thrones. It's probably a, it's probably in between low and high fantasy, well, actually. I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by. Actually, I would call it low fantasy. And I always appreciate low fantasy in movies and also games, because when you do experience the fantasy elements and aspects of those games, it is so exciting. When in high fantasy, everything is just crazy. It's not as exciting. So I'm a big low fantasy fan. This game has a lot of grounded elements to it. What if there's a quicker way to get here? I don't want to go past the Saurians again. Game has like a medieval grounded feel to it. And then they bring in all these extra fantasy elements from time to time. Yeah, Game of Thrones. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Did anyone else see that? Or catches the light. We ought to take a closer look. That's why you guys don't see me playing like true JRPGs that often, even though this is technically a JRPG, but it's not really. It's not really part of that genre, but it is a Japanese RPG. Because they're just too chaotic, and there's just everything is just so like crazy that it just doesn't really pull me in because of that. Oh, is that the ogre that I killed earlier? Holy crap, its body is still here. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my path, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Oh, this is just a side quest. I don't know if it's a side. Maybe it's part of the main quest. No, I think it's a side quest for an elf that I met in the capital city. Not a vocation quest. Oh my god. Oh shit. Here we go. This is my first chimera? I think it might be. Grant me fire. Oh, you know what? I think I need exploding arrows to actually use exploding arrow. Is that true? It looks like I can't use exploding arrow.
can't tell if the goat is healing the snake. If I'm gonna be able to get the snake down, I might have to go for the goat first. Right, I'm switching to the goat. If I was playing a melee class, I'd probably go for the snake first. Is that William? Thank you for the 10 gifted over on YouTube. Holy crap! Welcome to all the new members. Thanks, William. Appreciate your support. Oh, it was a great low fantasy. I think I'm kind of excited for that Doom sandbox survival MMO. This isn't it being made by the same developers as Conan? I don't know what I got killed from. It seemed like a boulder landed on my head. Oh, you think I died when I got shot up in the air? Appreciate it, William. Look at all those new members. Anthony, Chocolate, Michael, Obi. I really like how my pawns are actually copying me when they're actually going after the goat head right now. So on my first attempt, I was kind of shooting the snake and going all over, and now with a focused intent on what I'm shooting, seems like my pawns are helping me out here. It's great. Nice. killed the goat. What the hell? So confused about this guy. The goat dead?
the goat's dead now, you can tell. The snake's also dead too. It's so cool, the animations are great. with right now my hands oh an arrow that's pretty cool That really sucks. That really sucks. I just have garbage gear right now, so basically getting one shot by this guy. I can't believe I made it that far. All right, I promise I got it this time. And all right, whatever. It's fun. Can't complain, right? I got it this time. Why is my oh every time? Oh, you know what? You get punished in this game. So when you die, I forgot about this. Your max HP gauge goes down a little bit. So you're not just retrying. There's actually a punishment behind death. So now that I'm remembering that, we got to treat death a little bit more seriously. Damn. Oh my god. And I don't know where to rest around here. This is going to be hard. This is going to be the hardest fight so far out of all of them. I got it this time. We just gotta stay mo mobile. Focus. I'm 
Oh, I guess we're going after the snake now. Okay. Snake's dead. Damn it, my tank's gonna go down too. was that? Is that dude like shooting something up in the air? Something crazy, man. All right, um, let me see what I got here. Hold on one second. Um. <laughs> Let's give these to Wolfheart. I don't know if I... Hold on, hold on. I wonder if I have to be closer than that. I don't think that worked. Oh. I told you guys. I'm just going to be doing that for the entire playthrough. I'm going to keep giving things to Wolfheart, thinking that it's me. God. There we go. All right. So I got to look out for that animation next time. They, holy crap, dude. This is crazy. It's just a lion. If I get hit one time, I'm dead. So I'm trying to stay safe back here. Wolfheart's gonna die. Dude, this is freaking crazy, dude. Shit. Crap, I can't get this from... So funny how each vocation displays so differently from one another. Two pawns dead right now. Shit.
We have this NPC helping us right now, which is good. You know, the basic light attack actually does a lot. If you go for the headshot, I gotta start doing that. I could just keep spamming this. I bet you this fight would be over so fast. Sometimes my pawns bring one of my downed pawns over to me, which makes the boss come at me, which I'm not trying to have. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But okay. Drop him down, wolf, and get the hell out of here, brother. Get our tank up here. Uh oh, I can't see the creature. That's not good. Yeah, all I gotta do is just keep getting headshots with the light attacks. Actually, seems like the most effective strategy. You gotta be absolutely shitting the dog right now. Is this a joke right now? I gotta go back to the freaking city. I gotta go back to the city now. Oh my god. I mean, I could just do the Alvin. Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without. I wonder if I should go upgrade my archer's gear a little bit. How much money do I have? I only have 3,000 gold, though. Location rank. God. I wonder if the thing will still be here. Like, I really want to kill this thing. Like, I, I am hell-bent on taking this freaking Chimera out. It's not even that hard. <sighs> Shit, we're so close to the Elven quest, too. Look, it's right here. All right, this is what we'll do. Since I have, since we're already out this way, I'm really hoping that the, is the chimera even still there? I don't see it right now. I don't even see it, huh? Maybe it's not even here anymore. I'm afraid to go up there and look because it'll probably come out. We're gonna do the elven quest, and then we'll come back and kill the chimera. You've come. Shall we? Be Thanks, Chuck. Appreciate that. 
Enzaville, thanks for the Twitch Prime, man. Follow me. And pray take care not to fall behind. One can easily lose their way here. That's really cool though. The like sacred arbor will be a sight to behold, I am sure. I really but appreciate that is that I just wiped three times to the Chimera, because I feel like more motivated mo more motivated than ever, not only to just get better at the game, but also to upgrade my gear and things like that and come back. Like that's awesome. Alright, let's push into the Sacred Arbor. You guys sit back, relax, and enjoy this elven experience. It should be pretty cool. Thanks, MT. Hey, Valentine. Lord, what's up? Jim Bass. I had to give up on quite a few big bosses. Yeah, it's, it was like that in DD1 too. Like you run into some creatures, and you get your ass kicked. And it's probably a mix of uh, mix of skill and also just being too low level for certain creatures. Because Capcom's not afraid to make you fight a few creatures that put you in your place, and I respect that. So. Uh, Glindweir. so satisfying. Just the basic attack in this game is extremely satisfying. Oh, we're coming up to the Sacred Arbor. Holy crap. All right, I'm going to run to the bathroom real fast because I want to make sure I can enjoy this without having to go pee. Be right back. Okay, here we go. All of you guys that were patient, welcome to Sacred Arbor. Doing pretty good, Enz. How about yourself? Are plentiful hereabouts. Hey, Drew. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Brandon, thank you for 38 months of channel membership. It's ridiculous. Oh, I saw people say you got the XP, but I didn't realize that I was actually dead. Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh-oh, what is that right there? Useful things, these. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Oh, there's a chest right there. I don't know how to get to it. Looks like a troll up there. I think it is a troll. Yon chest is in a place not easily accessed. What the hell? Oh my god, dude. Glindweir just walked right past this stupid thing. He's not a very perceptive elf, is he? Glindweir, there's goblins right in front of you, dumbass. I think they're cloaked, shadow cloaked, like the thief ability. That's actually pretty cool. 
They kind of look like they're shadow cloaked. Oh shit, I think I gotta fight the troll now. Is it gonna break the bridge? I'm a little bit worried about that. I think it's underneath us. How fitting, a troll underneath the bridge? This is quite the adventure to Sacred Arbor. I hope it's not too dark when we get here. Oh my god. Wooden spiral staircases. I smell the elves. Nice little change of music here. I cheese so hard when I ran upon the elf city. How you doing? A well organized pack is my specialty. Cool story, bro. This is the moment I've been waiting for for years, ever since DD2 was announced. See where we're at on the map. Not too far from the poor crystal, that's nice. Hey Lily. Tired from today ends? Private quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor, and rarely the same one. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Matthew Rush. Shout out to my boy Leo. Happy that you guys get to see the moon glow flowers, because I ruined that experience for you guys in session one. Isn't it pretty cool? They only glow at nighttime. I don't think we should be slaughtering innocent animals in the elven lands, but I don't know if I trust Wolfheart over here, so... This could turn out into all-out combat. Fear not. I'll think of something. El, alacarium ilmen elote falomentarin nun fir nambawe elelia yav tolme? Uh, you're speaking gibberish, bro? Nandeu in morteren ekialis, nun fir ananduin, fanamone martiene lismelto. Iselrod vane nun lia casinke erenon. Oh, this is nice. Narsalma we fear. Ornefa in del rin. Alacarium fionaro osto urane. Fucking weird. Hmm. Some of us fail to grasp that this world extends beyond the bounds of our cloistered haven. Ah, forgive me. You do not speak our tongue, do you? From this moment forth, so long as you remain by my side, I shall interpret for you. Lindor is not really the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Now, come. The place the trial should be held is just up ahead. Something tells me he's going to fail his trial, too. Here you are, master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. I'm going to have to come back here in the daytime. in morteren echialis. Palan malanthar salma. Mind yourself while you're in our village, outsider. And I think the reason why I could understand that is because we have Glindweir with us right now. 
Or Luality can understand Elvish. I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. That's the elf that we saw earlier. This is pretty incredible so far. The trial of archery shall be held here. I bid you wait just a moment, uh, while I prepare my entry. But I've just noticed. Where are all the custodians? They ne'er leave their posts. Could it be aught to miss? Nenwen mor Iwanon. Alkarwa firnun eldaya menelume sur karilm. Martyr fa nun firnor minas vena eralote. Alkarwa firnun eldaya Menelume sur Karil, Kiriando an Mindor Hiroth. No. Darren? I cannot stand idly by while my sister is in peril. My friend, if e'er I have had need to call upon your aid, tis now. I beg of you to join me in my sister's rescue. There is no time. I shall mark the location of the ogre's den upon your map. Make haste. Her life hangs in the balance. Mind if I cop a room while I'm here? Kinda hurting. Alright, so Doreen has been, or Dorian, Dor Dorian, has been abducted by an ogre. Make for the ancestral what chamber. Chest? I can hardly wait to open it. Not all chests contain yeah, I'm not sure if they have like an in here. Oh, they do. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Now, I feel like this quest might be time-sensitive. Might as well just steal all the elves' gold. <laughs> I love how you can do that in this game. You just walk into a new place and just take all the shit that's laying around and nobody says a damn thing. I think it would be better if the game required stealth for that. That would be better. Or required shadow cloak from a thief. Ne ingarina Roman. Valestia. Ala Kail, Heron on Lalastar Mone Linta Minasvana Fars Mia Salma. How cool to have a game like this where you can't understand certain characters in the game. Like, that's just. That's incredible. That is being in touch with what real immersion is in a video game. It is no more or less than what one might have expected. We cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner. Definitely got to come back here in the daytime for sure. I'm a little bit worried that this quest might be time sensitive, so we are going to make sure we stay on it. I don't know if I should rest or if that's going to mess something out. Mess something up. I have no idea. Hope she isn't a whiner like Marina. Now right, there's a worthy prize. If only to work so far away. See what this is. Bronde Minitar. I think she said something about a Minotaur. I think I'm in love. Not gonna lie. Humans are just too basic, you know what I'm saying? Basic bitches. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. No harm in picking a few. Nunlia Tilmo. Akayel Phil Kalawin Nunli Aroma. 
Arume fa in Itarond, etele el dalia noon we. No way. <laughs> This is probably the place to get a bow, right? Holy crap, 38,000 gold. This is pretty cool, because even when you go into a different country that doesn't speak your native language, you can still interact with, you know, merchants and vendors and stores. And you make it work. And they let you do that in this game, so that's pretty cool. Oh my god, dude. That's incredible. I feel like my next goal in the game is going to be to save up gold so I can come back here and buy like a full elven set. I wonder if they have heavy armor? They do have warrior armor. You can't even see what the rings do. I don't know if I want to upgrade the bespoke bow again. Should I? I'm going to be buying all new armor soon, so we're not going to upgrade. I like how not all the elves are like, you know, these perfect specimens, too. I think that's pretty cool. Like, she looks like a normal person. What is this guy? What's up, brother? Oh, this guy sells a fairy stone. Okay. All right. Yarmen ran soron. No hourglass. Okay. Um, let's go see what the inn is. I think I'm gonna risk resting at the inn. There's a rift stone over here too. Is this where I came in? I think this might be actually where I came in. Hold on one second. The elven land is really well done, not gonna lie. I figured it wasn't like a full area, I figured it was just like a little encampment, but still pretty cool how the area changes a bit and gets a little bit more dense, the forest. Pray, slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. No time to catch your breath, try to keep up. Awesome, Fate. Thanks for hiring me. Appreciate you. I'll pop open the chest. And the wind fair no in Dilaran and you man. Yep, Capcom goes so far to ensure immersion in the game. But then they just let you loot everybody's chest at the same time. It's kind of funny. You guys think I pull out my weapon right now and see what happens? Emptying. All right, let's see if we can find the innkeeper. Where did she go? Right here. Elelote and fear and andui osto silfa malantha alecano mine in fair avehum. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. I did it. I spoke Elvish. The risen was cautious and led us with a steady hand. I wonder if this was fate. We traveled far, discovering many rift stones along the way. Such experiences are what make a journey worthwhile. Oh, it's thunder. I wonder if that's the thunder on our part of the wolf pack. I'm not sure. It probably is. Awesome. What I look forward to most in my journeys. All right. We have max HP now, and our quest is still here. So let's go ahead and focus on that. Let's go save Dor Dorian. Dorian. I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor. 
Definitely reminds me of Rivendell, that's for sure. Let's see what we're doing for encumbrance levels here. We gotta settle for the light encumbrance. I'm fine with that. Never bring Wolfheart to an elven village. The warning has been given to you guys. It's quite pretty up here, isn't it? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, guess we're going down. Oh, good save. Like some redwood trees in here. Come on, pawns. What are you doing? The pawns aren't very good at jumping down cliffs, I've noticed that. Look! Master of the treasure chest! We shall have to find a way to reach it. Oh, they're gonna take the staircase. What do they think? They're smarter than me? Oh shit, I'm out of la lantern oil. Crap. It even said that when I was in the shop. Um, damn it. That's not good. Aha. Do not Problem solved. You're here, and not a moment too soon. We must find my sister and save her from the ogre's clutches. Benilune. Mor martyr tiel adaka kiriandio. Tiel ni sil arin fel. Nun morivin we al carwa menelume. Lis anandor lumtena. Nando in far echialis. Pelinol wende, sinde, soron, aele, alvekil. Morivin fendel nar itarondo vani. Valis tu lia fune numin osto taralia osto telpe. There's a furry standing in the background. This is for you, master. You heard correctly. My father is the archermeister and thus oh. leader of our village. Interesting. So I'm pretty sure if you guys want the archer master vocation skill, you probably have to get it from the elves. Custom dictates that the most skilled with a bow among us shall serve as arborist, you see. In essence, village chief. But I will gladly defy my father if it means saving my sister. And with this bow in hand, I know I shall prevail. None shall fall to the fell ogre while I draw breath. A cavern of all things. It seems understand. Mayhap will be the first one to explore. Wolves drawn in. That's pretty cool. I didn't know you could jump and... 
I did like a little slide. I don't know how I did that. Oh, wow. It requires precise timing, though, because you have to press the jump button right when you land on the ground. Okay, now I can't do it. I don't know how I did that. Oh, maybe it's a sprint maneuver, actually. It is. That's kind of cool, because it seems like you can sweep out the legs of an opponent. This is a fun quest. I wish there was a way to, like, cancel the shot. Anonymous. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I don't know if the Magic Archer Trainer is here. Good question. I'm not sure. I haven't looked up any guides or anything on this game, so kind of figuring it out as I go. Um, we can go up this way, but we can also. Water is now invisible in this bloom. Go down. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. You too. I'm glad I'm not the only one. You just gotta let the pawns finish your dirty work. really feeling this vocation really caught me off guard I didn't think I was gonna like Archer that much but this is the way the ingredients are plentiful hereabouts shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here I can't you like this man. shit stuck I have to let go don't see anything. Oh. The archer is a really cool vocation too because you have like the soft lock which is your regular loose attack, your light attack. And it soft locks onto enemies you don't really have to aim. But then having the ability to also aim being able to switch back and forth between those feels really, really good. 
And it's actually necessary to aim because you can hit the weak points on your opponents. But you don't always want to just auto aim with a light attack. It just works. I'll go and open the chest. Todd Howard, 2024. Wait, what the hell am I reading in the Twitch chat right now? Carly says, hi, fate. We're picking ass. This is why I don't look at the Twitch chat as often as the YouTube chat, guys. Now you guys know why. Do some weird shit over there. Okay, hold on. There's a treasure chest. I don't think... I don't know if I got it yet. Oh, that was the chest right there. Okay. All right. There is another chest actually behind me too. Just take this slow. One cavern at a time. Posture check. Thank you, Carly. Oliver, what's up? What's going on? Yeah, the guy was bugged out a little bit. Really not that many bugs in this game, though. magic so let's give that to Luality. changes pawns equipment they previously equipped items will be returned to the pawns master any newly equipped items will be gifted to the pawns master when the pawn is dismissed i'm gonna forget to take it off so we're gonna hang on to that indeed because i need that Good for so actually no i don't because i'm always going to be hiring mages you know what? Yeah, let's put it on the wildies. Worst, worst comes to worst, she gets a free ring. You know what I'm saying? This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. Arbor Heart, preserve me. Here we go. Tis even more nightmarish a sight than I had feared. My father battles the ogre while my sister is clapped in his fist. Oh man. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have rested at the end. But there is still hope if I act quickly. <laughs> Listen well, friend. I shall strike the beast's arm while my father holds its attention. He's, the ogre is just chopping, chomping on her head right now. Might as well take our time, take a quick drink. Do a little stretching. Oh, God, that felt good. Can't take it off? Okay, all right. The moment the ogre relinquishes my sister, I ask that you lead her to safety. Oh, really? Okay, so we're not getting involved in combat here. I have ne'er attempted to strike a target so distant before. Ian, the trial of archery does not demand such a feat. Mm -hmm. Yet, for the sake of my sister, my arrows must fly true. What if he ends up shooting his sister? Pray, keep Darren out of harm's way. We must make our escape and quickly. Master, you must carry Miss Darren to safety. An ogre, stand ready. Shame I've never gone against this bow. Are we all in the same boat? I grant you glory, flame. Gotta get my loot while I'm in here. Of course, right? Oh, baby, got a nice little coat out of that, too. Oh, 
That's not good. Oh shit, that's not good. I don't want to fail this quest. Not in this game. They don't play around with quests in this game. I'm afraid the ogre is just going to smash her or something. I know I could kill it, but let's see if it follows. This is so cool. This game, this game has some great quests. What are you doing, Molly? Going for something up there. Oh shit, the ogre's here. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Oh my god, dude, what's up with this, man? He just wants to kill this elven girl. This is crazy. What's he doing? Is he pooping on her? Come here, brother. Screw this guy. Me and Wolfhard are going to take care of the job. Watch this. Oh, shit. He's eating the girl again. Gotta shoot the arm. This quest is crazy. Such a hero right now. That was rather more difficult than I anticipated. I'm assuming there's a few different ways you can do that. You could probably just bring her out of the cave, maybe. <laughs> I think I just killed her. Oh, shit. We mustn't let a single monster slip us by, no matter how small. Speak up, should you notice all to miss. Why the hell do I have to carry her now, now that the ogre is dead? This is some bullshit, man. It's just such a shame. 
the launch of this game because it's just and such a fantastic game. Is your pack not overburdensome? You carry so much, I worry for your poor spine. Looking at the Twitch chat. Oh, my heart. There can be no gladder tidings in all the world. Words shall ne'er suffice to express my gratitude, friend. None of this would have been possible if you had not gifted me this bow. You are my sister's savior. I am for heir in your debt. Et alert, le affermor el dalia era lotte. Finlinar. Finlinar. That's how you say father in Elvish. Karilm ilmen arkael. Silfa nambawe in nun kalail alame. Andadur sindi. Kemenindur kanyan irils aldekar. Fionar elwe arfarne nenwen sur orne. Epeler le affermor el dalia eralote. On the vana alvekil eteler ne anler ailame. Lungtena peli telume, ane martir tindume ingarina fa alme al carwa. Nenwen mor aiwanon, arta hir kurir, mor fa erando amanda kil. Kiriando an mindor hiroth, arta hir kurir, mor fa erando amanda kil. Vanalin hiror sorom. Sorne an famelto, nun dis amanda kil angadur femor. Kasinke telpi nun finaler, lera ne fir heranon, an ne arta her fir nis. Finlenar, lung dene we fir nostu. My gratitude to you knows no bounds, friend. It was your kindness that altered my plight as, as much as this bow. Not only are you my sister's saviour, but mine as well. By the by, if you are as passionate about mastery of the bow as I am, perhaps you might speak with my father. His experience ought be of benefit to you. I can't believe I'm steering away from the warrior vocation and becoming an archer. Everything about this just feels right. What a wonderful area of the game, and what a cool little side quest. Alright, so, um, can I speak to his father? My gratitude to you knows no bounds. Not only are you my sister saved, by the by, if you are as passionate about mastery the... Well, where'd he go? He left. He's camouflaged into the environment. Alright, well, let's go back to Sacred Arbor. Okay. Is he standing right near me? Am I just missing him right now? I don't like Warrior anymore. Oh no, I probably love Lore. I haven't even tried Warrior yet. Because this, this Glindweir quest required that you be the Archer vocation to start it. So I switched to Archer. I never really had a chance to use Warrior yet, so... Why is it showing the quest marker right here, though? Guess we just gotta go back to Sacred Arbor. Oh, we have a merchant right here. Have a gander at my wares. You shan't regret... A bunch of books, wakestone shard, and a fairy stone. I just barely have 10k gold right now. I can't afford fairy stones. Just can't afford fairy stones, folks. Sorry about that. We could sell a few things, though. Let's sell 
Um, we want to hang on to our materials, probably. Sell those. Probably make some potions, but you know what? I'm going to sell. Some of this shit's going to rot. Just get rid of it. Yep, I'm going to sell my materials too. can always farm these later. Oh crap, I think I just sold something I didn't want to sell though. Perhaps the ogre. Crap, alright, I'm going to save that ogre spur. Hope to see you again here long. You as well, brother. I've got wares of every... Uh, let's see what Wolfheart has here. We're going to empty out our freaking inventory here, baby. Let's go. Small thing, chopper horn. Yep, we can sell all this. We can farm these at any time. I think right now I need... I think gold actually is a lot more important right now than me farm, like saving all my materials. Because we have to at least be able to buy better gear. Especially since I just switched my vocation too, so. Minotaur horn. We're going to save that though. That's probably quite rare. A spider venom sack. I yeah, will get rid of it. Jagged bone. See ya. And chopper horn. Okay. It's funny how some of the archer vocation skills, I think they require you to buy certain arrows, so you can only use those skills a limited amount of times. All right, awesome. Hope to see you again here long. Nothing caught hey, Henrik. That's a shame. Let's hope there's aught worth our coin next time. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin. Well, I'm not really sure what to tell you, man. I mean, the performance is good for me, and this is probably one of my favorite action RPGs of all time, so. But I don't know how it's going to be for you. Okay, now we get to see Sacred Arbor in the daytime. This should be pretty cool. Gotta go down the cliff, though. Are we ignoring the enemy today? Um, Let us defer to the I don't think I'm gonna chance oh, that, so let's go back to the path. I think I know my track record with cliffs. Not exactly, uh... Not something that I brag about. Oops, I missed one of those. That's okay. What do we have here? Is it the troll? Oh, shit. All right, well, might as well kill it. I think he's stuck. Oh, okay. So they did keep that mechanic. Did you guys see that? So the trolls in this game, they target women. It was like that in DD1, too. And then the Elder Ogres or Trolls, I think, targeted men. I'm not sure if they're going to keep that in or not. and Mali are at the most risk right now. All the arrows are sticking right in him. Oh my god. Uh oh, I think he's coming after me now. That's not good. Holy shit. 
that would be a crazy slow-mo scene right there. Yep, he's coming after me. Oh shit, it's not good. I think he's coming after me. That was insane. I wish I could shoot my bow standing on the ogre's head or the troll's head and pull a Legolas. That'd be really cool. <laughs> you just did a backflop. I think I pissed them off. That's not good. Hey, nice shooting, Wolfheart. Wolfheart ain't half bad, is he? I'm level 18 now. Nice. Okay. All right, back to the Elven Village, which I think is. Think what we could achieve if we honed our talents further. This way, towards number one. But how do I hold on? Damn, how did I get so far away? Holy crap. All right, I know what I got to do. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Waiting for the Magic Archer gameplay. I'll definitely be trying out all the vocations for sure. I don't know how much time I'll have. I don't know what end game is in this game yet. I'm not sure how many vocations I'll be able to rank, max rank, on one run. But at the very least, I think I should buy all the vocations and at least play with them for like an hour or two just to see how they feel. With her branches and sun bloom, it's a good combination. I don't think so, Sharon. All right, Sesame, good luck to you. Oh, sun bloom and sticks is what makes those arrows. Okay, cool. I gotta make some exploding, exploding arrows. Um, shit. Did I just go the wrong way? Yep. Sorry, guys. That's what happens when I run around and I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, so we got to go up and then around, and that'll bring us to Sacred Armor. There we go. I think today's session has been one of my favorite gaming sessions since Baldur's Gate 3's launch. I'll tell you guys that much. It's been it's been a blast so far. Damn it, and now it's nighttime again? Why not? And I never get to experience Sacred Arbor in the day. Light has grown dim. Ears pricked. Twill be difficult to pinpoint distant foes by sight alone. Man, I was really hoping to walk up here in the daytime. This forest is also quite dense, too. Holy waterfalls. Look at those. It does kind of look like we're in Rivendell right now, doesn't it? 
It must have taken inspiration from Peter Jackson's Rivendell. Problem is we have to find I'm not getting a quest marker for this, but we have to find the father now. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. But first we'll go ahead and rest until morning time. How about that? There are worse things than turd somebody brought up earlier, I think the reason why you pay so much gold for simple things in this game is because the game is more so designed around the Japanese yen as opposed to American dollars. Which makes sense. All right, somebody hired Wolfheart. No matter the realm, the Arisen is my charge. This I learned. The Arisen carried a rare article. I've never seen this like. I have learned much, both from my successes and my failures. At 664 Rift Crystals. On quest complete. And we got equipment too. Ooh, Ring of Acclamation. Boosts maximum health. Okay. We'll receive all those, but we're going to put them in storage. I'll take them. We could sell them here. Uh, thank you, Matt, Queen, Jolie, Leon, Cheshire, Layla, and Wesker. The business has been pleasant. May we work together again in the future. I wonder where this guy is. I wonder if there's like a throne room or something like that. I honestly have no idea. Kilin Dolini Helena. Damn. Right, man. I could totally be an elf. Alright, this is the armor. Um, we're probably going over here. Yep, Arborist's home. Uh, I think we are, but let me stop at the shop real fast and we'll sell a couple things. Clean up our inventory from the items that I just got from those players. What's up, brother? How are you? Little elvish handshake there, you know what I'm saying? Elves are kind of a ripoff though. I think they sell shit higher to humans, man. That's some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Alright, sell. We're gonna sell. Eminent cloak. I don't plan on doing any of the magic classes. Ooh, that's actually an upgrade for me. Nice. I think I'm going to wait for Mage and Sorcerer till later. Just sell all this shit, man. Howling Blizzard. I should use one of those books so you guys can see some of the spells. Because like I said, I was watching Slander play Sorcerer the other day. The spells are really cool in this game. I mean, really cool. Go ahead and equip. Always press the wrong button. Equip my new pants. Awesome. And we can sell these pants. Uh, yeah. Sure thing, brother. Brother elf. All right. We're going to sell that. We're going to sell that. Why do I have an extra bespoke bow? Do 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 do. Hold on one second. I'm a little bit confused as to what I'm doing with my gear right now. Go to my equipment menu. Printer's boots. I love the little dire wolf thing. Well, that's kind of cool, isn't it? I think I might leave that on Wolfheart. Kind of dorky, though. But All right, let's give this to... 
Lionheart. And we'll give... Nope, that's on my body. Okay. Um... All right. Now we go to Lionheart and we equip... Oh, that's actually a downgrade. Okay, so we can sell the sprinter's boots. We can equip this one. Whoa, dude, that's so sick, man. Oh, I love it. I love the design of the armor in this game. It's like, oh shit, am I wearing like whitey tighties again? And high high socks? <laughs> um <laughs> That looks funny. So, <laughs> that's funny. I mean, I think I got a rocket, you know? Ultimate freedom as the archer class. We're going to do it. You guys are going to look at my whitey tighties all damn night. And you're going to love it. Moderately boost max health. Health. Okay. All right. I think we're looking good now. Ingredients are plenty. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we want to... Damn it, wrong button, sorry. We want to go to Lionheart and go to Pants. We're going to sell the Sprinter's boots. Surprised that they don't do like separate boots and pants and clothing like they did in DD1. Maybe that was just a little bit too confusing. And there we go. Yesterday I was wearing a mini skirt and today I'm wearing uh, high socks and whitey tighties. Only the best entertainment at the Wolfheart FPS channel. Alright, let's go find this this elven leader. Um, I only have... Yeah, we're going to have to return here when I have like 30k. If I stick with the archer vocation... Oh, I have 30k. Hold on. Hold on. Might be, we might be buying a bow upgrade right now. Thirty-eight K for this bow right here. It looks like a thorn branch, doesn't it? Ninety-one. Hello, what's up? Yes, you can change your vocation of your main pawn, which is really nice because I have two archers right now, so I might switch Wolfheart to be. I'm really liking the archer vocation unexpectedly, so I'm tempted to change Wolfheart to like a warrior. And actually, that might fit even better. Because I, I don't... Yeah, then Wolfheart can be a warrior in your guys' games. That would be pretty cool. And my character can be an archer, Lionheart. Fortunately, I don't have enough for this right now. And I don't know if I want to go broke for that bow either. Because it doesn't even look that good. I mean, it's kind of cool. I like the natural thorn look. But I was hoping for something a little bit cooler looking for 38k gold. Um... Do, 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 I think I should buy this though. What do you guys think about that? Does that look pretty sick? I think that looks sick. Done. Purchased. Okay. And then we're also going to get... Ooh. No, I don't like those. You got to look at the weight when you guys are purchasing things. Not always just about the numbers. How much is it going to weigh you down? Those are 37k and they look stupid as hell. Not buying them. Oh my god. I think I have to buy this. It's just so plain, but this is what I like. This is why I, you guys see me wear black and almost every video I have a black shirt on. I'm a pretty plain guy. I like I like the plain look. Um, That's like a bird. That's kind of cool, but I think it looks kind of stupid. Like, I'd rather have the long cape. I might I might buy this. 14k gold. Uh, Actually, it's minus one defense, though. I think it's all about the looks, though, isn't it? I'm doing it. Don't care. All my gold's gone. Oh, I don't have enough gold. Shit. Okay, we're not buying that. Never mind. God, the quality of life in this game for like the equipment menus and buying things is like 100 times better than it was in DD1. Um, it's Moshi. Patushi. Now shut the hell up and leave me alone. Damn, man, I'm looking pretty cool, aren't I? That's awesome. All right, I think I can also sell the Ranger's Vest and the Deepwood Jacket. Well, let me sell those, and then we're going to go find this... Uh... I'm attentive and loyal, and prefer Damn to it, remain Blue. 
not talking to you right now. And then we'll go find the elven chief. Oops. Sell. Um, 340 gold, 3,600 gold. You got yourself a deal. And pointy ears, you know what I'm saying? All right, we got to go this way. Is that grass that I can harvest right here? Nope. Kind of reminds me of Teldrassil a little bit. You guys know what Teldrassil is? If you do, you're then you're a true gamer. If you don't know what it is, then you're not a true gamer. You're a poser. You don't know what it's like to play video games. And here I was hoping for some great treasure. Now I feel a fool. We'll okay. find a is this him? I'm sure. Where did this guy go, dude? Is this a joke? I have no idea where this guy is. The funny thing is on my on my map it's showing that quest marker like way back where I was outside the ogre cave, but I think the chieftain's off just snuffing the dog in the woods, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he likes his job. Kinda look like a Christmas tree right now, don't I? <laughs> I wish this game had like a die system. You could go to like a shop or something in his office. Yeah, we got to get the green cloak. I look like a Christmas tree right now and I'm not liking it. Yeah, I have no idea where this uh, where this guy is. I kind of forget what he looks like too. Um, let me take a look at my map. Let's take a closer look here. He might just be out of office. That's kind of how this game works sometimes. You don't always stumble across the person you're looking for. They're not always there. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if he actually... Ooh, the water of spirits. I bet you we're going to be doing something else with that in the future. I wonder if this water right here actually has brine in it. That would be interesting to test out, wouldn't it? Let's test it out. Let me grab a pawn. Hold on. Hey, Lou, come here. I want to show you something. Yep, still has Brian. I love having pawns that I can sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Is this the guy right here? No, it's not him. I like how they have like little conversations and then they separate from each other. Like the conversation is over. Maybe this dude's in one of the in one of the rooms. Oh my god, they're talking about the Minotaur. Alright, well, I'm gonna head back out. I would really like to see what this guy has to say about archery, though. Is that him? Ooh, I like this guy's gear right here. Okay, let's head back this way. He's gone. Should be in the arbor. I don't see him anywhere. All right, so I figured out. Oh, this this rift stone I can actually search for pawns too. Um, let's see. Let's see who this mage is right here. The presence of a single mage can turn the tide of battle. Allow. Reality is fired for now. Anodyne, high flagration, high leaven. We have augments equipped. Oh, crap. Do 
two augments equipped. You're hired. Let us work together to honor the Arisen's trust. She looks like a, an elf. Either that or a human that got your surgery. All right, let's head on out. I wonder if I should switch out Molly too, actually. It pains me to say it, but I've nothing to share just now. What if we picked up, uh... Yeah, we'll keep Molly for a little bit. Molly's been pretty good. I just remembered a curious rumor I overheard. Seems there's an illness pawns can catch beyond the rift that has devastating consequences for those around them. Worse still, pawns never know they're sick. They just become restless and flippant and won't heed the arisen. I got a good idea. Let's go back to the end. Um, I have 13k gold right now. I wonder if I should rest and maybe that guy will appear. I already rested one time though. Um, let's go back. All right, let's, we'll go back. We're going to go back to the quest marker. That's a good idea. I think the elf was just camouflaged or something and I couldn't see him. See, the cool thing about this game is sometimes it can be hard to find things, but that struggle to find things forces you to kind of learn the layout of the land. Like games that tell you everything and exactly where to go, you're never really truly engaging with the world or really taking in the sights around you. In this game, shit, you run around trying to find people and you learn the cities. You're looking up in trees. You're looking ways that you never would have looked before. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Why the hell did the dude not jump over to the wooden staircase? Absolute joke. Okay. No way. I agree. No way, right? That's some bullshit right there. Okay. Luckily, it auto-saved, and I still have all my elven gear and everything, so we're good. We just got to run back out there. That's it. I lost a little bit of max health, but that's okay. Seems like it takes like 15% of your max HP gauge when you die in this game. Which is pretty punishing, but it's not the end of the world at the same time. I think they, they have a nice little system going here where you don't ever want to die, but it's also not the end of the world when you do die. That's quite a discovery. Queen Tiamat, hello. What's up? Picked a oh yeah, you can, I forgot. You can pick pawns that have quest knowledge of the quest that you're on. I don't know where you look that up though. Or how you know if the pawn look, has experienced that quest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. We'll take the staircase this time. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You will Whoa. never fall in battle so long as I'm Dude, around. I'm hiring this guy. Holy crap. Username Bravgard. Inclination simple. Oh, I can see. So this guy says quest guide no. You guys see that? Underneath the rating. So that must tell you that... The player who is playing this 
didn't do the elf quest yet? Is that how that works? I don't know. Um, we're going to hire this guy, though. This is pretty sick. And it only cost me 31 rift crystals. Goodbye, Mrs. Furry. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to give a nice gift to this pawn. I'm going to give... Let's give... Let's give a ring of acclamation. It's probably worth a lot, but you know what? I'm willing to give it to you guys. I'll keep this close. In memory of you, Arisen. Goodbye, my furry friend. On you in a scrape. Dude, this guy looks sick, man. His name is Main Pawn, too. That's kind of badass. Like, this dude's not playing around, man. Look at that armor set. That's so cool. That could be me if I was a warrior. All right. Where the hell is your father, kid? My gratitude to you knows no bounds, friend. Not only are you my sister saved by the by, if you are as passionate about mastering the bow as I am, perhaps you might speak with my father. Maybe his father just needs time with his daughter, like they're trying to recuperate or something. I don't see this dude standing anywhere around here. Quest marker is right here, but I don't see anything. You guys see anything? But you can always just come back. It's not like I can learn the vocation um, skill yet. I'm extremely low. A vocation rank. <laughs> Take me to your father, kid. <laughs> Should be there. I don't see him, man. I don't know about you guys, but kind of hard to see in this area. Everything is green. Let me look really carefully. Hold on. Like, where did the where did uh, Doreen go to? I have no idea. Look for white hair. That's what the elves have. I don't see it anywhere. We're just going to come back to Sacred Arbor. We're going to be back here a lot because I really, really enjoyed this place and this quest. Maybe it's bugged. It could be, yeah. We'll just come back. No big deal. I'm kind of curious, though, if I rest at the inn, if something would change, but I think I already rested at the inn one time, so. Supposed to be standing right next to each other? Yeah, maybe we're bugged out. I don't want to spend any more time on it. Go in the cave. I was already in the cave. That's where I came from. But okay, I'll check it real fast. You know what? Let's just check the cave quickly because maybe the daughter's still in there and she's just passed out on the ground. You know what I'm saying? We did save her after all. Pray, slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of Doesn't me. hurt to check it real fast. On with the delving, I say. I tend to think better on my feet. No, he's not in here. We might be on the cusp of a new adventure. I don't think so. Kind of happy that I turned this into a live Let's Play series as opposed to doing the offline at Let's Play episodes because there's a lot of searching in this game. <laughs> like you guys remember yesterday, I spent like an hour and a half in that cave trying to find that weapon. Nort feels quite so wasteful. Uh, yeah, they're not in here. Fine piece of equipment after purchasing the very same item. Not so in beautiful in here, though, isn't it? Let me just peek this you little said, ledge right here. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Nope. Okay. All right. Let's go back. Do I have a fairy stone? On to the next quest. The elves were fun, and I'm sure we shall meet again. I'm assuming there's plenty of elven quests in this game. In the elven town, you still haven't gone back to the building that you met his dad at? Oh, shit. Now, there's okay, cool. a word. Rise. Thought I turned around. So far Thought I checked every building. I did go back to the building where I met his dad. Um, you know what, though? Let's go back one more time, and I'm going to rest at the inn. And if he's not there, then we're gone. How about that, okay? But I did go back to that room. There was a cutscene there. And I remember returning back to it. Oni Rayu, thank you for the Twitch Prime. I 
I don't mind taking a little walk around the elven village. I could spend all day here. I like how they hung little lanterns on the trees and stuff. It really gives that elven vibe. Oh shit, what is this? I love the sound effects for the riftstone. You know what's crazy? Is we came from right there. And we've been out on this journey for like an hour and a half now. And we walked all the way from over there to here to meet the elves. Just incredible. Oh, that's where I fought the chimera. And actually this allows you to get to the top here so you can get that chest that's right there. So after the elves, if his father's not in the village, then we'll jump down, grab that chest. And actually I'll check these, this, these ruins right here too. Because I was scared last time because I didn't have enough HP. That's the plan and we're sticking with it. And after that, I'll go back to the capital city. And we will try to pick up another quest. To push on the main story. <laughs> Slaughtering rabbits in the elven woods. And here I was hoping for some great treasure. <sighs> now I feel a fool. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. What's up, brother? Alright, so this is... Do, 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 do. This is the inn right here. This is the shop right here. And this is where I met her father for the first time. Or his father for the first time. Oh, wait, no, it's not actually. Hold on. Hold on. Over here. We're going to check it, it quickly. We are little welcome here, in spite of our amicable intentions. This is where I feel like he should be. This is definitely his office here. 100% his office. So let's go take a little nap. See if he shows up after this. It is always tough with a first... Like, it's tough with a new game. Because, especially a game like this that doesn't handhold you for all the quests... Because there are bugs in especially newly launched games. But then when you're playing a game that doesn't hold your hand at the same time, you don't know. You just never know if it's a bug or not. You can just search all day. Alright, to the end we go. Did he die? I don't think so. But we are going to take a little nap. Give this one more try. Um, I never searched up here. Maybe he's in the end. Maybe he's him. Maybe this is what he does in his free time. You guys think the Elvish Village has a strip club? Is this him? No. Might as well steal his shit. Governing soul. Nice, I got two spells right there. Oh, shit! No, don't do that, Lionheart. Alright, let me just check over here real fast. This is such a beautiful inn right here. Look, they could make a movie on this. Whoa, this is the room that I want. Holy crap. Incredible. All right, we're going to rest. Maybe I have to rest until nightfall instead of morning. Oh, uh, shit, I don't remember what it is. It, okay, it's, I think it's this one. All right. We're going to rest till nighttime. It'll be cool to exit the elven village at night, too. I found Gandalf. I saw Gandalf in the rift, wasn't it? Are you talking about an NPC or an actual on fate? I experienced quite a bit of combat during my travels. The Arisen carried a rare article I've never seen the like. Suffice to say, I'm glad tis over and relieved to be back. 
Awesome. Himmel and Varian, thank you guys for hiring my pawn. Appreciate you. But we mustn't let that dim our spirits. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. Oh, I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor. Alecando Nande. Alecando Nande. Ne ingadina Roman. Roman? There's Romans here? Dude, this dude is just... He is just taking a vacation or something like that. I do feel like this game does take inspiration from Lord of the Rings in some way, shape, or form. There's definitely a couple things. Yeah, I don't know, man. I give up on this quest. We'll come back. No big deal. Like I said, it's probably not that important anyways. That's not him. This is not him. I need a translator with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here. See you later. Bitches. Just kidding. Don't ever call the elves that. plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. These are the elven scouts. Damn, man, it's just so cool here at nighttime. Ooh, we have a wisp out there. All right, let's make our journey back. Um, ooh, oh, shit. Whoa, that's super cool. Is that like the daylight spell? A fantastic find. This is why I shall never tire of our adventures. Just incredible. You know, I gotta say, as of right now, this is... I think I'm enjoying this game more than I did Elden Ring. And I'm a huge Souls fan. Game has a little bit more RPG to it than Elden Ring does. Not that I would ever want the Souls games to change their formula, because I like them the way they are. It's nice to have games like this and also Elden Ring. But there's just a lot more dialogue and story to this than Elden Ring. Elden Ring is very crisp. Stay. Nope, he's going to go back. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're out of here. We are out of here. See if I can find my way back to that high ground over the ruins. Uh-oh. Enemy wolves. Look at that. Are you guys... Look at that. It's just incredible, man. Look at this. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Like, the attention to detail. Like, that's a campfire right there. It's incredible. Alright, so I wanted to jump down on the ruins, which I think are over here. Wow, this is really dangerous at nighttime. I don't know if I should be attempting to jump... Attempting to... Some crazy jumps while it's nighttime in this game, but... You only live once, I guess, right? Bill Bill, thank you for the dollar ninety nine. Appreciate that. Because you said you enjoy this more than Elden Ring in internet fashion, I must get offended. I mean, don't get me wrong, Elden Ring is one of my favorite games of all time, but. Damn, look at main pawn up here. Straight up badass. Oh, shit, he has the taunt ability, too. That's great. Screw that chest back there. I honestly don't even care. Nope. I don't know where I was actually going. I am At nighttime, you just get so lost in this game. I don't remember... 
Where are those ruins? Oh, this is... Hold on, hold on. Okay, this is where I'm going. Let's set a marker right here. And that should allow me to drop down on top of the ruins and then get that one chest and then we'll go explore the ruins. Hey Jack, planning on streaming Shadow of the Erd Tree? Of course, absolutely. See ya. So, what a team we make arisen. All right, I have arrived, but I can't see jack shit right now. Oh my god, it's like impossible to do this at nighttime. Actually, there's no way I can successfully figure out where I have to jump right now. <gasps> Somebody's down there. Dude, the arrow actually lights up where it travels to? My mind is blown right now. My mind is blown. Come on, Capcom. Get your shit together. So we can celebrate this freaking game, man. You know what I'm saying? They didn't F up the launch, man. If they just had a cash shop that was the deluxe edition. And the performance of this game was just half better than what it is right now. You don't have to have perfect. We all expect some performance problems from games these days. It's kind of sad, but the game was more poorly optimized than your average RPG that releases. This was like cyberpunk shit for most people. They just did those two things, like this would be game of the year, this this would be one of the most celebrated game launches of the past couple years. And they screwed it all up, man. And now I gotta love the game, knowing they screwed it up. And every time I praise it, I gotta deal with the internet comments. This could have been such a better time. See if I can get back to those ruins, though. I do want to explore those ruins. Um, I'm definitely kind of lost right now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I might have to make it. I'm afraid we're going to run into the Doolahan. That's what I'm a little bit worried about. This is where I was trying to go. These ruins right here. And I'm totally not going the right way, am I? So I have to get on this path. Let's set the marker right here. That'll get me going the right way. Whoa, look at this little rock overhang right here. Pretty cool, dude. Apparently I discovered some more ruins now. The private quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor. And rarely the same one. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. The creature's corpse will serve as well. Are you certain? Oh shnikes. We got ourselves a charmed golem. Take care of the wolves first. My god, dude. Shit, dude, he just wrecked my tank. He almost one-shot my tank. It's like a totally different feeling at nighttime when you're fighting certain creatures. Who is this? Is that a zombie? Oh, dude, now we got freaking zombies here, too. Leave my pawn alone. Alright, here we go.
It's incredibly fun. Got you, brother. Let's just stop for a second. This might be one of the most fun battles I've ever participated in my entire life. Do I have recency bias or is this shit badass? Let's be honest here. And I'm still a noob at this game. I just switched to Archer not too long ago. Imagine when I'm fully powered up and I got all my gear and everything. And I know the ins and outs and all the nuances of all the combat. Lion Legolas. It's a really cool spell. I love this, like, daylight spell. Like, I don't know the name of that spell, but it's, it's incredible. And it makes the game look so damn good. I'm getting 80 FPS too while doing this encounter. Aw, oh, you bastard. Magical metal, scrap iron, magical. You guys think I should make a video? Dragon's Dogma 2 is my favorite game of all time. That would be a dude. That would. 
That would be a divisive video. I might do it. That'd be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> that would piss some people off, man. Honestly, I don't really care, though. <clears throat> you know what's cool? Um, it's not easy to ignore comments on the internet. Let me tell you that. It's not easy. I've been doing this for a while now. And before YouTube, I was also in the music industry, so I dealt with people online all the time. But, like, the other day I was reading a bunch of negative comments about how I'm a shill and all this shit about my channel sucks, etc., whatever. People say some crazy shit online. And I was getting fed up in my head, which is rare because I usually don't get too angry. So once in a while it gets to you. And then, you know what I did? I took my mouse, I hit the X button, and I exited out of Google Chrome. And guess what? None of that shit existed anymore. It doesn't exist. All you gotta do is just hit the X... And it no longer is a part of your life. <laughs> it was a nice little revelation for myself. I literally hit X and I went to the grocery store, talked to my mom on the phone, and life went on. <laughs> so, the lesson that I'm trying to teach you guys, the life lesson, is just hit X, okay? Just hit X on life. Well, actually, that, that can be interpreted the wrong way. Don't don't hit X on life. Hit X on Google Chrome. <laughs> All right? <laughs> hit X on the internet. Ah, That's all you got to do. Useful things, these. All right, let's go ahead and head back. Look at the beautiful sky. I'm just into this game, man. I, I, I love this shit. Let's go. Get the hell out of here. How do I get back to town? For Craig's sake, you got to be kidding me. How the hell am I going to get back there? I'm almost thinking I might want to take a southern path here just to discover what's all like the crazy thing is we haven't experienced all of the nation of Vermont yet but I also haven't been to Batal which is the other area which I'm assuming is all of this the map is freaking huge in this game they weren't kidding when they said 4x the size of DD1 Hey, bros. The high five was cool. I know, it's a nice little immersive touch between the ponds. It's super cool. What a battle, though. I don't know if I'll ever forget that battle. And that wasn't even a boss battle. That was just a regular golem. Nothing special about it. Wait, did I end up back at Sacred Arbor? Where the hell am I right now? Oh, okay. No, we're at this... Okay. Cool. This is the tunnel that... Okay, all right, going the right way. This, these are the ruins where I fought the Chimera and the tunnel. Well, I definitely hit X on life right there. You're enjoying the game head? Nice. Social media, it's real life, even though it's a huge part of society now. 90% of those people wouldn't say that to your face. Oh, that's very true, yeah. 
Yeah. The keyboard warriors, you know? That is something to think about. Like, if you're talking to somebody online, think about would you say this to them in person? Response is no, then don't say it at all. Okay, luckily we're really close. Didn't expect to fall like that. I'm actually tempted to try something crazy right now. I'm an elf. Easy peasy. Okay, now we gotta enter the ruin here. With some of our max HP missing. But I'm okay with that. I'm actually really excited to see what this is all about. Come on, folks. On with the delving, I say. I tend to think better on my feet. I hope we'll find treasures of plenty. Hope there isn't. Oh, I just tarred myself. I think I did. Interesting. I didn't catch what my pawn said there, but it doesn't seem like we can get in, so... I guess we're not doing these ruins here. Funny, because when I came here earlier, I decided not even to enter the cave, because I was so scared of it. All I had to do was walk, like, Two steps forward and I would have realized that it's gated off, so we have to figure out how to get in there, but we're gonna save that for another time. I don't think there's a back entrance, but we can check over here real fast. Something going on over here. Oh, it's a waterfall. What is that on the ground? Oh, it's a coin purse. Okay, back to the city. Back to the city to see what the hell we're doing. Probably rank up the archer vocation quite a lot, too. The chimera's there. I should put the pork crystal in the actual elven city, but I'll leave it there for now. That's good enough. The question is, how the hell do I get back? We are so far away right now. Oh, that's Melv. Wrong place. Oh my god, I gotta go all the way down here. I don't have a fairy stone. Yeah, we gotta go past the Trevo mine. I could stop in there and try to find that staff that I couldn't find before. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's, um... Oops. How do I get rid of those weight? Erase all. There we go. Let's set this near the Trevo mine, and that's how we're gonna work our way back to the capital. It's actually on the way anyways. Um, I'll put the marker right here. Because there's a vocation quest that I didn't finish last night. Because I was exploring that cave with like 10% HP and I wasn't able to jump to any ledges or anything. I was also extremely tired too. I shouldn't have streamed last night. I served, had many a visitor, and rarely the same one. You've given me much to think about. Oh my god, dude. I don't think this is happening, but I'm gonna try. So close, man. So close. That was risky. <laughs> Honestly, when I jumped, I thought I was dead. <laughs> yeah, the journey back to the capital begins. There's a worthy prize. If only twerked so far away. I think we have ourselves a Cyclops. Character feels kind of heavy right now, and I'm actually in the light category.
Where's the ogre? Around here somewhere. I wouldn't mind killing it. Would that we might always be so in step, eh? I've already killed that Cyclops before. I mean, it's not the same one, but... I'm not going to look too hard for it. Oh, I think I see it. Nope, that's a that's a herpy. Sounds like it's that way. This, I feel like the directional sound in this game isn't the greatest. We're hunting ogres. Maybe it's moving. What manner of treasures will I find today? Oh, I can Damn man. Wait to find out. And that is the town right there. If you guys were here, session number one, I believe that is Melv. Is it? Yes, it is. So this is the first village that we went to where we had the vision of um, we should go back there, actually, soon. Oh, shit. Oh, we fought the dragon. funny I like my mage every once in a while you shoot like I'm sure you guys do the same thing when you're in combat you're soft locked you end up shooting a couple stray arrows imagine doing that IRL with a party with you shooting stray arrows in the middle of combat Oh, what happened to my camping kit? Did I use it? Hmm. Who was that? Completed culling request. Oh, okay. Guess I just did a quest. Okay, we have a little bit of a quest marker right here. I want to make sure I know what that is. I don't think it's that My guy. Thanks, sir. For you. I did. Oh, nice. Okay. It was. Got 1,500 gold out of that. Perfect. Okay. There it is. I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by. Could show you the way. There it is. I don't think it's noticed me yet. Now it has. Damn. 
Damn. Get me down, main pond. Woo! I think I didn't throw me off the ledge. see that too often in games, do you? Crap his butt. See that? My warrior pawn jumped up and grabbed his head and yanked him backwards. And I just got back flopped. goblin problem too. I go for the headshot for that. <laughs> the drop kick is so funny. Part died. Wow, look at the view out here. Might not be the time to look at the view, but I am. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Oh my god, dude. How did I not get drop kicked right there? Oh shit. Gotcha. Just incredible. So much fun. Keep an eye on the far end of the bridge as we proceed. Should you sense danger, best run across. You got some people saying that this game's not open world. You're out of your damn mind. Alright, um, look at all this shit that we have to still explore. Um, we're not gonna do that right now, though. We gotta get back to the city. We have better gear to buy. I say we collect as much as we can carry. We have quests to do. Oh, shit. Where'd this goblin go?
see what happens when you mess with me. My pawns take care of the job. I really like this area of the map right here. This is a ton of fun just doing even these basic goblin fights. This would be incredible if I shot one out of the air here. Like I gotta keep trying because this is actually pretty fun. I don't know like what the arrow drop is in this game. I might not actually be out of reach because there is a long, there is a long range arrow called Keen Sight that I don't have right now. Maybe I can't actually reach. I mean, you can see the arrow hitting the ground though. Let's try this guy. <laughs> Short. I don't know. Whoa, that was almost a cliff death right there. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I'm having too much fun right now. You can't have fun when you're playing this game. It's all about business. You can't find the staff either, Head? Yeah, I couldn't find it last night. Um, oh, shit. Wait, is that a Minotaur right there sleeping? Nope. Who's blowing the horn? I love how the goblins just come out of the grass. Like set up in like a little ambush. Look, oxen, out tranquil, endearing <laughs> creatures compared to the monsters we all face. I think this is where I fought the Minotaur for the first time. Still have such a long journey, it's crazy. Oh, I wanted to stop at the Trayvill Mine, didn't I? Um, yeah, we can stop in the Trayvill Mine real fast. I'm just going to do one quick peek. If I don't find it on the first try, then I'm out. What is this? I'll wager I could make that shot. Be sure to aim true. I have my lantern on this entire time. Wow, this is a little cabin that I wouldn't mind living in. Got a pretty nice location, doesn't it? Minus the monsters that are out here. And the herpes. Don't want that now, do we? Yeah, I think I could settle down here. In retirement. Hey Josh, thanks for the $2, man. I appreciate it. How's the game so far? I'm loving it, man. Having a great time. You just found it, head? Was it on the bottom floor of the main chamber? That's all I want to know. Was it? Alright. Damn it, dude. I'm not gonna... The thing that sucks is I... I'm gonna be going to the cave with half HP, kind of like I did last time. Setting myself up for failure. You know what I'm saying?
I love the weapon enchantments in this game. They make the weapons look so cool. I uncovered a treasure chest hidden in this very locale. Shall we seek it out? If we're to destroy this, it will have to be from the other side. I am so bandits. Oh my god, you actually have to shoot you actually have to shoot through the bars, I think. Or maybe it's only the the main bar across here. Come on, game, really? Tell me I can't make that jump? Unbelievable. Okay, you just gotta, you just gotta, you just can't shoot that. That's the only thing you can't shoot. Hmm. That's kind of bullshit, man. I'm this badass Arisen character and I can't get over this stupid little wooden fence. You know what I'm saying? Although, hold on, this might be it right here. Nope. Well, that is a negative. Wolfheart's trying to get over it too. Look at him. He's copying me. Put your weapon away. I think you just gotta come at this from the other side. I don't think I can make that jump. Hold on, let me try. We're not giving up just yet. We're not giving up just yet. It's not happening. I came kind of close. Funny thing is, I don't know how to get to the Trayvall mine now. Didn't have this problem my first trip here. Counting in this on my first run. Right that way, okay. Have to go up like this and around, I think, or all the way around. Nope, because I can't get through here. This is where the village is. What is this right here? Okay, there's something underneath me right now. I just don't know. Try to keep up. This is live. It should. Well, I guess somebody could run a pre-recorded. I don't really know many people that do pre-recorded live streams.
Change my steady shot to left trigger. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, TJ. I switched my RB and LB around, and I like it a lot. It took a little bit to get used to. Using health potions is a little bit harder, but overall much better. Um, especially when you're playing a class like the fighter, holding up your shield. You don't want to use the right bumper for that. Like in every video game in history, you're using your left bumpers to hold up your shield. You can manage it. Not the shot. Call me legless. Call, call me legless in the chat right now. If you don't call me legless, you're banned. I want to see some legolesses in the chat right now. Beginner's luck, you think? Okay. Is this right here? Robin Hood? Oh, thank you, hamster. I appreciate that. At least you're being nice to me today. William Tell? Third legless? <laughs> what the fuck? Third legless. Josh, oh, the $2 super chat, Legolas FPS. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. I agree. I love the Levin spell. It's so cool to be around it. And there we have it. Two hours later, two and a half, maybe three hours later. We return to the capital city after that wonderful adventure out in the Elven Lands. One of my favorite quests that I've done in a while in a video game. never gets old. The combat is just always fun and engaging in this game. Doesn't matter what enemies that you're facing. I'll wager I could make that shot. Be sure to aim true. Aim true, Arisen. Um, I don't really know how to get up to the top area. I guess this way? Yeah, this must be it. He has come and went and conquered. Thanks, James. Yeah, uh, I went to Elfland, Perry. That was the majority of the session so far. I had a great time.
The reason why my character shoots up like that is because the opponent that I jump off of is already dead, so there's nothing to target. Oh, you said... I didn't even realize, Hamster, that you said Legless. I thought you said Legoless. I take back what I said about you. I have a Ryzen 9 5900X, I believe, is my CPU. Uh, performance for me is fine. I mean, the city at Skippy. I hope that they patch that to make it more smooth, but... I have a pretty good processor. Hey, Jamie. Okay, back to the capital city. You guys can see the FPS in the top left of my screen. Super small, but you're going to see in the city it probably floats between 40 and 60, I think. Might drop into the 30s at times. When we get to the Market Street, we'll see. I heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of beast rooms. Oh, fascinating. Quite. Though no definitive records remain. Aha, this is our first experience at the morgue. If a civilian dies, their body will be brought to a mortuary within a few days of their passing. Whether the corpse ends up in Batal's morgue or Vermund's depends on where it was found. The Arisen can revive the dead using a wake stone so long as they have access to the corpse. Such a cool system. So immersive. So fun. It is here that the bodies of those who fall in vermin are first kept and tended to. I beg you to conduct yourself with care and with a reverence befitting of one who walks among the dead. Don't mess with dudes with a bullet cut. That's for sure. Pray keep your voice low. You are more than welcome to return. Wow, so when you kill an NPC, they're just going to be laying down here? Are they going to be in the sarcophagus? Or just going to see their body sprawled out somewhere? Chest. Oh, I can hardly wait to open it. Hey, I got a wakestone shard. Wolfheart found a treasure down here. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. Oh my god, it goes down again? Holy crap. Surprised that the, uh, the performance isn't that good down here. You feel like it would be decent. Not much to render in down here. I think that's it. Okay. Nope, it goes down again. Oh my god. It leads right into the slums. I haven't been to the slums yet. Let's go check it out. Sure there's a couple side quests down here. My head hurts just thinking about it. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Of the gracious hand, do say you'll go and see her. She's your best hope. She used to conduct research into sedatives and sleeping medicants for the army or in Batal. So I am certain she will. This is what the peasants live like? Arms, arms for the poor. You think Tardis' house is in here somewhere? Some we gotta go we gotta go visit our little peasant peasant pawn. Am I shedding? Must be my winter coat growing. Yeah, it seems decent enough. I don't see what these guys are all complaining about, you know what I'm saying? of prayer do keep your voice low how cool would it be if i just started killing everybody in here <laughs> and i just filled up that morgue i spend my days in quiet reflection would you guys disapprove of that or what 
I kind of want to try it. Somebody just died. I'm sure we'll be back at some point. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? We'll give this guy some aged scrag of beast. Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. You know what? I like that guy. The other beggar in the in the city wanted to take my gold. That guy just wanted food. Of course, I'm going to help him. This is for you, master. I thought it might come in useful. I don't see any quests initiating here. The other day, I chanced to see a most resplendent ox cart on the high road. Now, that's not so strange. But guess who I saw riding in it? Poor little Daphne. I doubt with my eyes I did. And rightly so, as it turned out to be a young boy. The resemblance was so uncanny, I mistook him for her. Gave me a right shock, let me tell you. Odd to think a young noble should so closely mirror a girl of the slums. Their faces may match, but the lives they lead are as different as night and day. I. It is a cruel world we inhabit. What am I Boy, keep your distance. Say, have I seen you around? Well met. This here is the sanctuary of tipplers and merrymakers alike. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Damn it. Well, I ne'er. I feel like I gotta do it every time. <laughs> gotta help out the peasants, man. You know? <laughs> Give them a night that they'll remember. Well met. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Pleasure doing business with you. You don't mind if I just loot the chest directly behind you now, do you? And here I was hoping for some great and take your fish. Now I feel a fool. Stealing You'll food in the slums. It, I'm sure. No big deal. Yeah, the slums are kind of like the outer city in Baldur's Gate. There's like no wall protection, no guards down here. All right, let's go into the city now. I'm trying to think in my head right now if I want to take a break right now and then go live again in a couple hours and just play all night. Or if I want to keep grinding right now. I have a decision to make right now. Alright, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I am going to take a break because I need to be healthy. <clears throat> Not worth it to stay alive. So, I'm going to take a break. And uh, as of right now, it's 7.30, 8.30... I'm planning on going live maybe around 9.30, 9.30 p.m. That's the plan as of right now, okay? Two hours from now if you guys want to watch a continuation of this live Let's Play series. But I'm going to take a little bit of break. Move my legs around, get the blood flowing, eat some food, take a walk, things like that, okay? So thank you guys for hanging out today. It was a lovely session. Actually, this might be my favorite session so far for DD2. Pretty damn awesome game. And I'll catch you guys.
maybe later tonight. As of now, the plan is 9.30 at night. If I don't end up going live, then I'll be live tomorrow afternoon for sure, okay? Goodbye. See you, Vaughn. See you, Arthur. Shout out to all my lurkers out there. Appreciate you guys. Ryan H. Catch you later. And on Jack. Shad oh, Shadow was here. I didn't even notice your name earlier. Sent me a gift staff last night. Oh, did you, Zyphiel? I'll have to check. I don't recall getting a staff, but I did get your bow when you sent me that bow. Yeah, Henny. Jaren. Midori. Georgie. Brandon. Catch you later. In my Twitch chat. Oh, nobody's in the Twitch chat right now. Goodbye, Twitch chat. Hasta la vista. Amigo. Yeah, that was a great session. Had a great time.